lies are truth. Ignorance is bliss. Darling in the Franks is trash. And, and kill we kill is <laughs> victorious. Yeah. F you, who are you? you? You pigs in human clothing. Yeah. I'm Kitty. And I'm Max. And we are pigs in human and clothing. And together we are... Dango Duo. Kamui Kamui Junketsu. Fuck. Fuck. That shit was so good, Kitty. It's so good. Heather, funny. Kitty, what the hell are we talking about today? Today, as chosen by our lovely Patreons. Ah, over at patreon.com slash Dango Duo. We... Oh, God, we gotta record the Eva one. Oh, yeah, we have to do that. Yep. Yeah. Now, now that we've gotten this one out of the way, we can actually... Yeah, we can actually talk about Eva. So, uh, um, uh, every, kill a kill. Yeah, every month we do a patron uh, chosen video in which we put up a poll, and the patrons, uh, pl no matter of... Regardless of the amount of, of monies they're pledging, they get to, they get a, one vote. Yep. And this month, uh, well, the theme for this month was uh, a podcast, long-term react... Lo finish long something. Yeah. Watch a, a big anime mm -hmm. and do a podcast about it. Yeah, because we, uh, we ain't about... Yeah, screenshots. And all no, that. no, it, it's it, like it's screenshots for one episode. I live action, but like, yeah, I'm like tired. It's, yeah, and also like it's it's just it's so much editing for ultimately us just talking in front of a screen anyway. Fair. So uh, and this gives us the freedom to just talk for longer instead of you know the camera. Sure. Uh, but yeah, the the options that we proposed was um um, um my love story my love story my uh, uh kill a kill mm -hmm. and neon genesis evangelion. evangelion was there a third one or am I crazy? No, I no, just. That's the third Wasn't one. there a third one? That's three. Wasn't there a fourth one? No. Those were these projects yeah. we were working on. And of course, Kill a Kill took it. Of it course. was really close. It uh, actually was. Uh, it was oh for a, for a solid few days there. It was like a solid three way tie. Th yeah, three way tie. And we were uh, like, well. And had it and had it not been for the tiebreaker, uh, in the form of I think it was Annie. I, well, I think Annie X O Z Joe and Jen. We would have done a double rea a double podcast. Yeah. Uh, but we'll still we're still gonna do one on em Evangelion because we watched that and we want to mm -hmm. get our thoughts out before we watch the movie. Yeah, because because that will. But change our thoughts. Fuck sure. Gynax. Yeah. Today's fuck. all about Toriga. Yeah. Uh, and their 2013 anime. Kill a kill. Kid a kid. The com the kid a bombastic uh, collaboration between the two guys who made. Uh, Gurren Lagann, they're back again mm, yep. the, at, the, the at their bullshit. At their bullshit. A story about the relationship between human beings and the cloth they wear on their bodies. And also, you know, just life and in girls. general. And girls. And girls. Power. Yep, yep. And ridiculous proportions that make no sense. Yeah. How big is Gamagori? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. He's as big as he needs to be. Like, listen. <laughs> what? Just think about that hamster. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my that god. Was, that was the only. That was the good thing to come out of people shipping Mako and, and, and Gamagori. Gamagori, yeah. This is the hamster. Hey there, everybody. So uh, <laughs> this podcast, we're gonna actually follow our usual anime reaction, mostly in case that you haven't seen all of Kill a Kill and you don't want to get immediately spoiled by everything. Mm -hmm. We're gonna give you a quick summary. Actually, we just did. Of what? Well, kind of. About kind what of. this anime is about. Uh, we're gonna tell you what we liked, what we didn't like. Uh, so again, no spoilers. Uh, mm -hmm. We're gonna give you a recommendation. Uh, do we? Do we think you should give this a try? Yep. And then we're going to go into the spoilers on the big bulk of the video. Where we're going to yeah. go step more, by more step. More podcasty as we yeah. usually do. Character by character, beat by beat, and we're going to tell you exactly what we thought about everything. No spoilers, no strings attached, uncensored, unplugged. All spoilers, you mean, at that point. You said no yeah. spoilers. I said all spoilers. You said no spoilers. I meant spoilers. all spoilers. That's okay. It's fine. It's fine. So, uh, so this the kill story kill? Is, is... Well, at the surface, the at story the surface. is about... Ryuko, uh, trying Ryuko Matoi, trying yeah. to take advantage or take no um, take, take revenge. Thank you. Take revenge on her her father and find the other half of her scissor blade. Yeah. The father's one who, killer. Father's killer. Yeah, father's killer. The one who killed her dad. Her dad has the other yeah. scissor yep. blade. And yeah. she happens to. Uh, and she find her her research takes her to Hono Jigakuen Academy or Hono. Honoji Gakuen, or yeah, yep, yep. Honoji Academy. Yeah. This is strange academy this in strange, which... strange, like, in very which you're dictatorship it, yeah. academy. A authoritarian, Thank totalitarian... Uh, academy. Uh, kind of a society in which mm -hmm. your place in the classroom represents your place in, in the, in in the, the community. Yeah. Uh, to the extent where, you know, the, the, 
the lame, bad, great students are living in the slums mm -hmm. while, you know, the the, the higher-tier members of the clubs are actually living in these, like, beautiful living condos luxury. and mansions. Mm -hmm. And the story progresses from there on uh, with, with our... crazy balls-to-the-wall battles. Mm -hmm. what, between our protagonist and our seemingly antagonist, yep. Satsuki Kirin. Yep, yep, yep. Kirin. And, 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 and seemingly, seemingly endless slew of baddies, club, club members, and, and, of course, the Elite Four. But it's trigger, so things don't things escalate. Things don't go quite yep, yep. as planned. Uh, the final like five episode run or the last three episode run goes from like oh yeah yeah to like oh, uh, oh and it ends oh. here and it ends here and it ends here and nope 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 oh, we keep going. It, it has that that cosmic escalation of like this couldn't like this like, couldn't get any crazier. No, and then, and then it, it does, and then it, it escalates up until ridiculousness, and that's that's trigger right there. That's trigger. Uh, we for watched you. the entirety, episodes one through twenty-five, and the bonus episode and one through twenty-four, and then twenty-five. Oh, yeah, one through 20, twenty-four, and then episode twenty-five, the, the additional OVA, 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 yeah, basically. titled "One More Goodbye." Yeah. Uh, so now that you know what this was all about, mm -hmm. Kitty, what did you enjoy the most about Kill a Kill? Well, especially coming off of Trigger's newest release, yeah. "Darling in the Franks," this is so lively and vibrant and just yeah. it's a lot of fun and we'll talk about the bad when we we'll, get there because we'll, we'll, we'll there the is bad but like even even in the bad it's just it's so balls to the wall committed to its craziness mm. and, like everything moves so beautifully and like it's just animated so well and so fluid that like you feel everything the characters are feeling you feel every movement and like you see, you see a character, and you you instantly like have already a, a, a reaction because just the way that they're drawn or animated or something is just like immediately mm. sparks something in you. It's really great. They they spent a lot of time making the show look the way it does, and mm. it's and it's obvious that there's a lot of love. Yeah, uh, my point additional to that is that there's so much character mm -hmm. behind every single design no yeah. one looks boring or generic everyone has this ridiculous like edge to their character yeah. whether it is you know uh, the, the, the discipline disciplinary um, um, officer Ga Ga Gamagori or you know or even uh, the homeroom teacher yeah, yeah or the homeroom the teacher you know or, or, or Mako's par parents and mm -hmm. family everyone like like everyone has character dripping from them, mm -hmm. and their designs are all really sound. And we're they're all, all different too. Yeah, and we're already here already, like because we have to address this. Mm -hmm. Like, like getting into this, and I finally got to finish this. I didn't, I didn't finish this like three years ago when I started it. Mm -hmm. Like I have watched it through yeah, once before. Yeah, so watch finishing this finally, mm -hmm. coming off of trying to get into Darling the Franks is like night and day. There's so much immediate character mm -hmm. and personality, and like color to, to this line world. of this like and, and, this show yeah and like the characters are immediately more likable and relatable and this show achieves the idea of like like not agreeing with the antagonist mm, no. but, but rather seeing their point of view mm -hmm. uh and especially you know satsuki is a great character and i ended up loving the elite four by the end yeah even though they're obviously presented yeah, as villains they're presented because... as antagonists at the beginning and like by the end of by the end of it i'm like i was rooting for them and i wanted to see more of them on screen exactly like they were just just such and fun even characters when, even when they were villains you wanted to see them on screen because yeah. they were so interesting so fun mm -hmm. their designs you know kept evolving as they yeah. got like more you know their next you know, three star uniform or whatever. Yeah, exactly. It like, was just like kept going. Mm -hmm, it was mm -hmm. never stagnant. Yup, 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 yup. Uh, now, those are of course like, our biggest positives. You're not gonna talk about the other one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, thank mm -hmm. you, thank you. I yeah, have one more extra positive that I want to add on here, and it's it's the biggest strength in this show. And uh, unfortunately, it is not. A, it is not at all. It is. It doesn't leave untarnished from other elements. Mm -hmm. But this story is so female focused and cent and centered mm -hmm. that it's fantastic. Yeah. Like they're all the main all the main players, all the main characters are female, mm -hmm. uh, and we don't get the classic male pl plot thread of like let's put a man in here so that so the man can, can put the even things in out. Yeah, we'll put the woman in her place. place. No. The main the main central antagonist for real seas is female and is powerful, and we never have to have the conversation about. You know, like, how did she get here? Why does she get to be here, even though it, she's a woman in a man's she's world? she's fucking powerful. Yeah, and and even though we have supporting male characters, they never step on the toes of the actual main players of the story, which is Ryuko, Satsuki, and, and eventually, Ragio. And Mako. And Let's Ma be real. And, and, and Mako. <laughs> yeah, Mako... Feels, feels like, like a support character, but she's actually but a main she's character. She's totally, a, she's a, main totally character. a main character. Like they're the four, the four pillars of the story, mm -hmm. and I really love how 
unapologetically... Like, like, we joked in Kira Kira about how this being a magical girl anime. Like, this it so... technically em- is. It's so empowering, and it's so, like, female-centric that sometimes it amazes me that this is an anime. Right. Because anime, se- like, ne- seldom nails that feeling, especially in this, that is basically a shonen anime. It really in is. In format, really. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, of course, this anime is not without its faults. Mm-hmm. Flaws. Faults. 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 Flaws. The faults in our flaws. Kill a Kill. Yeah. The faults in our Kamui's mm-hmm. Kitty. What did you just like the most about Kill, kill a Kill? Um, we'll talk about this in great detail in the spoiler zone. Yeah. There's a lot of sexualization in this show that's not necessarily needed. Yeah. The ones that I'm going to point to are the scenes with Ragio, where she's touching the girls yeah. inappropriately. Yeah, yeah. That that those right there are literally the most nothing scenes that are like they have no reason to be there. They don't add anything. No, no. They I, don't even make her seem more evil. In fact, no. it just confused me. I'm yeah. like, why is she doing this? And yeah. she's to, you know, her, her children. Daughter. You know? Yeah. Uh, and to add on to that, my main complaint about the series, now that I've seen it again, uh, mm. and I finished it finally, because I actually left on uh, with two episodes to go the last time I watched it. Somehow. Not because it dro- I dropped me, but because I just busy with life and stuff. Yeah. And... Uh, the, th- the designs in here regarding the main female characters because you know the, the, regarding mostly yeah, Satsuki the, and um, the thing about this anime in case you actually have no idea Ryoko. what it is is that like and we'll like, talk about yeah, the Tumblr yeah, discourse yeah, at the time yeah, which was about but, this but, but like in case you actually in case you have never seen Kill la Kill and you have no idea what we're talking about the girls wear the, these cool uniforms that are basically like they pop- transform into almost me- 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 mecha yeah, inspired yeah, yeah. But, but instead of it being like an actual giant robot they're just their clothes change to give them superpowers basically yeah and when other characters have the transformation the the outfits like especially like Gamagori's actually feels like a superhero outfit like he could just yeah. be right there I mean there. especially the second form especially the first the, form the second kinda, form you know yeah. and like you know like uh Sanigayama yeah Sanigayama, he, he's like he's like a and, and, and the and Nonon's first one is so it's so much like a goddamn fucking like superhero outfit yeah and then of course uh, what the, uh, the hacker man yeah hacker for, man just hacker man s- I forget him yeah uh like they feel they feel very much grounded mm-hmm. in the case of of uh of Ryuko and Satsuki mm-hmm. they are endlessly sexualized and and i know someone out there's gonna make some sort of dramatic point about how but that's the point no it isn't it actually isn't looking at the whole thing in scope especially considering that the main theme of this show is the relationship between people and their clothing it actually makes no sense for them for them to be naked yeah. it actually doesn't. we'll talk and, about that because and, that was the main Tumblr yeah. discourse at the time yeah. is like is this feminist or is this not and we will we will touch on that. Yeah. But if I had to just summarize my complaint here, yeah. is that even though this story is very female centric, it's about female empowerment mm-hmm. and it's centralized in female characters, we still have of course the elephant in the room that is male fucking that gaze. Is, this was made by and, men. And and, and 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 in case you want a specific example, then I'll just give it to you right now. The camera treats these two girls like they are sex objects. They, they Not show all the time, but, but, but pretty there's, often. There's a lot of jiggle, and of course, the easiest one I can give to you that is needless to be there is just there to get men's boners off. Let's be fucking real here. It's like, it, 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 when Ryuko's transforming, uh, her Kamui is transforming, and there's the shot in which the part of the Kamui that covers her vagina tightens, and you can see the the form of her labia. That is fucking needless. That doesn't yeah. need to be there. And every time I saw it, I was like, "It's just there. You're just seeing that's that's her, that's her vagina. That, that's yeah. what it is. That's yeah. that, that. Yep, yep. That's what it is. What do you want? Like, yep. and 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 like, I thought rewatching this, I was gonna come to a realization of like, oh no no me. Like, there's a sense to this. And honestly, like the, the whole time I was watching, I was picturing them half naked as they are, just wearing a bodysuit. Yeah. If there was just a bodysuit where all that skin is, mm-hmm. this this it would still be embarrassing. It would still be to embarrassing be, to be that part of the point. But yeah. like, but like that point gets dropped super soon, and like, yeah. and and yeah. I. I'm very I, conflicted about this yeah, myself. Like, 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 I love the anime, and it's such a female-centric story, and that's why we are arriving at the thorn on our side. Yeah. Where it's quite literally, how do I willingly recommend this to someone when it when is... It's, ve- so when it, it's, it's a powerful story about in, female empowerment and centralized in female characters, but it's and also it's male gaze. so in your face about being sexual. Yeah. And, and not, uh, not necessarily in a way that's, like, see, telling you something. And that's not to say... That stories about powerful, empowered female characters can't have sex in them or be about sex. Or be but, sexual but, but, in nature. But we're having a, a tonal dissonance here between what the characters are feeling and they're doing and the way the camera is presenting it. The example that I brought 
forever off screen mm -hmm. is that like in the Superman movies how the camera treats Superman like he's Jesus mm -hmm. in spite of the chaos that he's causing yeah. the camera treats him like he's this godly being mm -hmm. and, and there's this tonal dissonance almost as though uh, like the people who wrote the script and and animated it, mm -hmm. or, or rather, the people who wrote the script and came together and figured out the characters knew what they were doing, and the animators were like, okay, yeah, but what if we add boob jiggle here though? What well, what if when she gets smacked by Gamagori's whip armor, her butt jiggles really, really hard? Yeah. And then we show that clip over and over again, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I again, sorry, I'm getting really. <laughs> I'm getting really candid here. I really enjoyed this story, but it is because we enjoy things and we enjoy anime that we have to point out the th the, the points at which it falters. And it's one of those things like you have to be critical about the media you yeah. watch and, and understand and, that every media that you consume has some yeah. kind of effect and, on you. And especially us as storytellers, mm -hmm. uh, like we have been on the seat of telling a story, mm -hmm. and. It is because we're hyper aware to these things, you know. Especially you know, like if you follow my other channel and stuff. Like mm -hmm. I am. I don't turn this off. Like I don't turn off my brain. I, I analyze things because at the core of it all, I'm watching this to enjoy it, but also to consume it, to see how someone else did a story like this. Mm -hmm. And I felt so inspired during like the um, the, 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 the tri-school raid moments yeah. with Ryuko and like the ultimate parts with the Elite Four that were just so powerful, mm -hmm. dripping with character and emotion. And we still have the storm on our fucking side of Ragios over sexualized interactions with the other female characters and of course the way that our main two female characters are displayed. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll, give, I'll give it I'll give Wayne, it to ho the... hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Tumblr's welcome back angry. to whoever just posted that angry comment about how we don't get it. Tumblr's angry. All right. Uh welcome back. Oh no, is that killakill.tumblr.com? I will give the show this for its sexualization. Seems to mostly be on our our main yeah. three of our four main characters. Did you, did Mako you, doesn't really get it. it. Well, like the only time she gets is when she's hanging upside down and her boobs are flopping. Yeah. But even then, like it's, it's kind of supposed to be comedy. It's supposed to be comedy because she's like not wearing a bra yeah. for some reason, and you're like, oh, Mako. oh, and one complaint. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll just say this right now, okay? Mm -hmm. I love the Elite Four. I love all of their uh, like uh, uniforms yeah. except for Non Non's last one, it's which is literally dumb. wearing just, just a like heart a... stamp over her vagina. Yeah. That was dumb, especially Non Non who hadn't been sexualized the entire like. Yeah, season. not really. She had, I, I, I think actually she had her tummy showing like yeah, once, but that was I, it. I really liked her first uniform, which is just wearing this bodysuit with like skull with bones yeah. on it, and that felt very Non Non. And for the very last one, they're like, "Well, she's gotta be naked." The yeah. other boys are not naked though. I, I mean. The thing, the thing that I will forgive, and I won't go too into details because we're still in the non-spoiler yeah. zone. But um, I do kind of like that their final Kamuis have a little bit of nudist beach in them. Yeah, that, that, that's fair. And they too. all have that design. That's fair. Yeah. So it's okay. I just wish it wasn't just showing I, I, her crotch. Yeah, I wish. I, I, wish, I it wish it wasn't just was like, like like her. Like, like, I would rather have her boobs showing. Yeah. yeah. Like and I have like the yeah. heart patches on her boobs. That'd be yeah. kind of cute. That would be more cute than just like then on her crotch. Thing. Oh, because the other boys have their chests showing. Yeah. New the speech. We'll talk about new the speech. Yeah, too. we'll talk about new the speech. Uh, we just have to clarify this right now, okay? Mm -hmm. We don't hate this anime. No, and we don't think we don't think it's darling in the Franks. That's for sure. No. <laughs> no, no. See, there wasn't a point in this story where I was tearing my hair out, going like, "What the? F this makes no sense." No, like, I, the story's actually really solid. Yeah, like things we, get crazy, but they're yeah. understandably See, crazy. We, or, or okay, Max, me. As a hundred percent max, I'm gonna like I just did feedback for a fellow writer, early friend, and we spend like like thirty minutes going over one particular sentence a character said and how like we were going back and forth about the inconsistencies that it brought forward. <laughs> I can be incredibly picky because I've done editing and I have done writing, and it's what you do to make sure the story makes sense. And Kill a Kill was strong all the way through. Yeah. Because it's so ridiculous that it sold me on all of and the it, stupid it shit goes, that it said. It goes with everything. It, it never, it never stops for a moment to um, kind of like be like, think, "Could I do this in this world?" Yeah, the no, answer is yes. And all of Always. the and all of the nonsense that it brings up is justified and it makes sense and it's built on this foundation of like ridiculousness, mm -hmm. where like when things ring through all the way, I'm like, "This makes sense." Yeah, yeah. Of course, it no. ends with you know, we oh, gotta save yeah. the world. Of course, it ends with literally and and of course the very final line from uh, uh, from one well, of the characters yes. is fucking fantastic so it's good. one of those things where like someone must have thought about this at the beginning and was like how can i make the story about this one single line and see i'm getting tingles all over yeah and we've spent 20 minutes in the non-spoiler zone. Non zone but anyhow uh y'all wanted a podcast y'all wanted a podcast here we go y'all wanted to hear us talk about kill a kill uh kitty do we recommend kill a kill yes for our viewers 
I will give the caveat that if you are hyper aware to the sexualization and you're just not into that, oh, like oh, Ari was yeah. not into yeah. this at all, yeah. like you take this with a grain of salt. You might yeah. not like this. Then. Yeah. Uh, it's a sort of thing where, like... If it makes you uncomfortable to see these characters sexualized, to see these yeah. characters embarrassed about se being sexualized for a little bit, and then yeah. it kind of goes away. Yeah. Like, like, there's a moment where, like, it feels like the show is self-conscious about it, but it's not self-conscious to the point of being like, yeah, let's just not do that, though. But then it keeps going, so yeah. it, it yeah. didn't really learn its lesson. Yeah. Yeah. So if you are, like, hyper-aware to that kind of stuff, you yeah. might not enjoy this yeah. anime. But if you are okay with it, yeah. and you're willing to see this fucking crazy ride, yeah. then and, and, and you like, should go if, for it. And it's the thing where, like... like and we're slightly touching on the spoilers, but, like, when we have the nudist beach arc, like, the nudity makes more sense because everyone is fucking, like, naked. Because yeah, Because exactly. everyone is fucking naked. And yeah. that felt that felt that, that fair. That didn't felt like, oh, they're sexualizing just the yeah. girls. No, 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 everybody's and, naked. And, and it was a sort of thing where it's like, I wish that, like, either A, all of the uniforms were highly sexualized always, so the girls them. didn't feel out of place, or none of them were. And in the case of the boys, like, the boys' three-star uniforms were not sexual. Like, they no. were not sexualized. Well, Gamagori's is a little no, but, bit. But it's not, though. It, it's sexual in nature, but it's not sexualized. That's true. So, like, it's, you know, like, like and, and like, Senegayamas is just, like, a goddamn fucking mech suit. Yeah. And, like, and, uh, it's freaking... like a Sentai guy. Yeah, and goddamn fucking Hacker Man. Yeah. He's, like, he's just got keyboards all over his body. Yeah. And, like, like, they weren't sexualized. And it, it's the thing where it feels... Uh, unequal. Yeah. You know? That's uh, fair. So yeah, if if us if if okay, if us talking about this makes you go, yeah, I don't want to watch that, then you already know. Yeah. But if if listening to us go makes you go, that sounds interesting. Like, I want to see how they play it crazy. play it off. Um this is a wild ride. We watched yeah. it over the course of like a couple of a couple, weeks. A couple of weeks. But like the last week we watched like we, half of we it. Binged it. Yeah. Yeah. And the and last it goes balls. I would say the the last well, uh, just honestly starting in, at that very middle point yeah when you introduce you the, know the, the, our, the, our pink haired <clears throat> demon our, our pink yeah. demon she's not pink you would say but from episode four no, no uh, from episode 12, or 12, 12 13. 13. i think it's 12 yeah yeah so literally halfway through the season yeah, it, yeah. so, so cuz like the first the half anime. is like your baddie of the week you know but yeah. there's a bigger plot going on and then it gets balls yeah i know like, it, i would almost say that it starts a little bit slow it does uh, but like, as soon as episode twelve shows up, like, like it's a sort of moment yeah. where I'm like, I'm in. I you're have to either watch in all or you're out. You know, because it, it's follow if it's followed by the try try school uh, raid, raid yeah. which is fan fucking tastic. So much, and then it's followed by the Nudie's Beach arc, and I'm like, that right there, it picks up so much steam. Mm -hmm. And of course, this anime has the best uh, recap episode ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. It's such a good. It it's like it's like two minutes. Yeah. It's so good. Fucking Senkitsu is like dying. <laughs> okay, alright, so all right, we, uh, we recommend it. We gotta jump into the spoiler zone. Uh, we're gonna uh, talk I, in If you are all interested... Uh, Go watch it. It is on Netflix and Crunchyroll. Yeah. And it is now, um, as of recently, at the time of uh, recording this, uh, they just put up the English dub as well. Yeah. We tried it out, but um, uh, the Japanese uh, is just so bombastic. No, no, and also, let's be fucking real right now, okay? Yeah. The Crunchyroll app on PS4 fucking sucks. Yeah, that too. Had it not broken on us, we would have watched it we, because we I've actually tried it, yeah. the one thing that I've seen of, of uh, the dub of Crunchyroll is mm -hmm. the Osaka guy, mm. and the dub is fantastic. I think it's actually better than the Japanese. That's possible. Yeah. They, they make him like like the stereotypical white rapper kind of voice. Oh god! And it, it like it works that so well. Makes sense, honestly. It works so well for the Osaka guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We just it, Crunchyroll is a piece of shit, and uh, okay. <laughs> on PS4, hey on Crunchyroll, we love you. Please sponsor the us. The Crunchyroll app. The on Crunchyroll PS4 app on PS4 fucking shit. sucks. Um, uh, but if you're yes. watching it on desktop, it's great. Yes, we have tried reinstalling it. Yes, we have deleted the app. Yes, we have logged in and out. It doesn't. It doesn't fix it. It's kind of broken, at least yeah. for us. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no. If you prefer English dubs, um, apparently it's pretty good. I heard it's pretty. We good. only watch a little bit, but yeah. yep. we watch like the, uh, two minutes. Yeah, uh, before because it be, broke. Be, because country, be, yeah, before the app broke. Anyhow, but the Japanese is also yo, fucking fantastic. I thought we were gonna make this one quick. We're already 25 minutes in. That was our last episode that we recorded. It was uh, quick. Uh, hey there, everybody. We're going to jump into the spoiler zone. Uh, you know what to do. Go, you do your thing. We, we told or, you, go watch or it. Or if you've already seen it, tag along. Or if you don't care and you're like, like sell me on a dango duo, then fucking tag along. Yeah. Because we're going to fucking jump in at the count of three. Two. One. Fiverr. Lost. Kamui. Senketsu. Execution mode. <laughs> don't worry, robot. <laughs> DTR. DTR. New the Say, Fuck. 
knew this to be. This anime has so much style. The, like those I, those big I, like the, kanji the, coming yeah. up is so and then like characters lean on them. It's it, so yeah. good. No, or like in the on the bonus episode, like it yeah. shows like the summary and then like people are standing in front of it so it's reversed. Yeah, it's so no, good. No, no, like like they the, pl- they play with I, I, everything. Okay, that you know they what? Have. Now I can go all out. Yeah. Fuck Darling in the Franks. Darling in the Franks has no character compared to no. this. Darling in the Franks is is not vanilla ice cream. It's an it's an untoasted piece of white bread Dang. compared to fucking Dar- to fucking Kill a Kill. Yeah. Kill a Kill is just so bombastic and fun. Y- you know what I fucking love? There's mm-hmm. the most nothing detail. Mm-hmm. All of the screens are like Game Boy screens. All, all of the screens the characters have on their phones are like Game oh, Boy screens. Oh yeah, yeah, they're all pixely yeah, and like yeah, they're that pixely. green and, and, yeah. and black sort yeah, yeah, of tones. Yeah, like the, or yeah, green the f- and dark green. Yeah, like I love how they keep that through the entire and anime. And then they play with it too. Yeah. They eventually play with it yeah. towards uh, in Ragyo's fight. Exactly. Where they reuse the shot from the uh, uh, from the opening, but then yeah. flip it later. Yeah. It's so good. Like, there's so much character and personality. No, mm-hmm. no. And also, we have to also give credit where credit's due. The performance of the of the voice actors are, is, is fantastic. Is Gamak fucking gory. He is just so, like, he brings his A-game yeah. the and, entire and, time. And, like, like okay, I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm shoku yeah. mako. I fucking love how the bit about his family owning a fucking, like, ironworks comes back at the end. Yeah, like, you didn't expect it, and then you're yeah. like, oh, yeah! I also, like, listen, I fucking love non non I love non non is so good, because she's got this little voice. She's got this little voice. shit voice, <sighs> but she loves Satsuki so much. Yeah. They're and gay. It, it's, it's, it's really gay. Yeah. For, and, and, and it's funny because, like, when I first watched that, I didn't care for Sane Gayama, but rewatching it, I'm like, he's so boss to the wall. Yeah. And, and of course, the bit he's at so the end where hard. he's like, he's like, I, I, I don't need to blind myself anymore. I can, like, I can see. Yeah. And because and Ragga's like, yeah. how could a blind man expect to hit me? He's like, that's my secret. I can see now. It's, it's like the fucking limiters are off. It's the yeah. most anime thing. <laughs> and I like how even in the OVA, we watched the OVA, by Yeah, the we way, watched the OVA. Yeah. Uh, they referenced that. It was like, oh, look at all the stuff we was gonna we were going to have for the final uh, battle. Yeah, <laughs> which we didn't. We, we didn't have time. <laughs> it's all this crazy shit that they oh, made. And, uh, just... and also, there are so many, like, like uh, fucking... Uh, Cloth work slash like references like yeah. the 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 freaking like a uh, new di- the the ship that's the nudist to blade yeah. is actually like a tailor knife mm-hmm. and then like the scissors of course are tailoring scissors yeah uh, broken into two mm-hmm. and of course we have like freaking like I love Yori yeah of, of, Yori. of, the, of the of the sewing club yeah he's so good yeah I know like that's uh, it's so good there's so much character in this yeah not like, only, not, not only... like even from the smallest baddies that come back like the tennis lady yeah. the tennis club lady yeah she comes back at the end and helps out yeah. in the final battle and you're like i know her yeah oh my god and then fucking uh mako's like three-star uniform that comes back yes. at the end too oh fuck i love that oh my god it's, it's so like good. it brings me life and of course, Michael's a stupid like like uh, a spotlight moments. I love those are so good, and that's, and, and, and her family. Yeah, and then that's where we got our canon gaze. <laughs> yeah, it's true. In Michael's spotlight moments, yeah. she gives Ryuko a fucking kiss. Yeah, and she's like, let's go on a date. To go on a date. Yeah. Oh, did we? Oh, we forgot to mention this. Yeah, no. The canon lesbians. Yeah, canon lesbians. Yeah. 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 I, I remember when that episode came out. Ari and I like watched that bit, and we were like, "Is this gay?" And the answer was. Kind of, kind of, kind of. Yeah, gay. it's, it's, it's but like gay. watching it in context, yeah. like it's super gay. Yeah, it's like, really gay. Tumblr was all like, mm, "But we ship, you know, Gamagori and Mako," and then like, "Listen, Mako loves Ryuko, yeah. and, and, and like uh, loves yeah. her." And honestly, I would almost kind of just go on a stretch and say that Gamagori is mostly concerned because he cares about everyone, though. And I. Okay, I love and, Gamma, I love Gamagori's character mm-hmm. because it shines all the way through, especially on the episode where he's driving and he yeah. picks them up. He's like, it is the duty of the disciplinary like mm. le- leader to take care of all, all of the, the students. students, even though it's fucking Ryuko. even though it's yeah the person who's trying yeah. to kill Satsuki yeah. or take revenge. Like like that, and that shines all the way through. Mm-hmm. And he like he jumps in front of the bullet multiple times. Yeah, and and I do feel like um, he does grow a little bit closer to Mako, like, yeah, even that's fair. from that. But it's also because he, like, he expected nothing from her, and she yeah. delivered so much more. Well, and continue to and continue to surprise him. Yeah. Up, up to the point in which later on, Nonon is like, oh my god, it's the non-achiever, and fucking and, and Gamagori is like... drops the uniform yeah. and is like, here yeah. you go. Yeah, and even Gamagori is, like, defending Mako, is like, yeah. fucking don't don't under, underestimate her. Yeah. You know, and I love the, the theme of, like, you know, we're a bunch of weirdos who make no sense. Yeah, and that's but, why we're friends and That's we support friend. each other. That's so good! It's... it's uh. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what about... Uh, okay, so, listen. 
when I first watched this, I thought that, there, that the the plot was a lot harsher. Where like there are harsher turns. Where like, whoops, we need to have a tournament arc. It actually is way more smooth upon yeah, watching and, it. Yeah, and especially after you hear all of Satsuki's plan, you're like, ah, oh, it all yeah. makes sense now, really. Yeah. Uh, there there the, were points where the first like, episodes are pretty slow. They're, they're pretty slow because they're introducing a bunch of things, but you it's also get... slow. Yeah. Also, Jesus fucking Christ! I'm sorry. Like fucking uh, Ryoko's dad. <laughs> I fucking like. I, okay, He's okay, so okay, okay, good. okay. Every time there's a flashback. Every time there's a flashback in this anime, they to cut to three by four resolution and sepia and se- and, and like sepiaish tones. Yeah, and everyone has nineties designs. It's so good. I fucking love the dad's nineties nineties design, so and I love his transformation. He's like, you're like into ta- this like eighties dude to nineties yeah. dude. Yeah. Like. <laughs> It's so Fuck. good, and of yeah, course, his, like like Raggio's nineties design, where she oh got like God. she she looks like fucking Angelica's mom from Rugrats. She does, especially in the OVA episode that really yeah. reminded me. I was like, oh yeah. shit, man. Oh, uh, fuck. It's <laughs> like, like, again, we're so excited about this because it was so. It's like, so fun. It was so. It was so fun. Even Espe- especially its flaws. Especially because it's hard to say this without screenshots. I mean, there's no way we could have taken screenshots no. of all this. And it's hard to see it without an emotion, but like. The animation is fantastic. The mm-hmm. very first episode, the first thing you meet Gamagori, the door opens and he like comes in and he grows as he, as he comes through yeah, the door. Yeah, he's like, you know, shrinks through the door and then grows yeah. back up. Well, like Gamagori. And this like imposing cha- giant figure. He changes size the entire anime and it's incos- inconsistent and it's fine but because it's, it's funny stupid. And, f- and silly and it's it's okay. Fuck. And the fact that he's 20 years old. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. <laughs> oh, it's so good. And it's weird to think that all these, like, especially all the Elite Four and Satsuki who are, like, working so hard are still fucking, like, high school kids. Yeah. And, of course, the the bonus episode with mm-hmm. the fucking, like, like where are they all going? And I'm oh, like, yeah. oh, yeah, their lives go on because they're still normal people. Like, yeah. At all. And some of them are still going to high school, but some of them yeah. are graduated. Yeah, that's fucking, that's fucking sad. Yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah, one of those, the, like... The, the, did we just did we just talk about the OVA real quick to get it out of the way? That's fair. Uh, it it felt extra. It happened. Uh, it's not. I it, like it, I it, like it, that we got that little bit about whole Madu. Yeah. Yeah. And and the especially the Ragio flashback yeah. in the flashback, she was like fucking yeah. badass, but. Uh, and like, what was it like? Uh, of course, everyone is like everyone's gonna go their own ways. Mm-hmm. It definitely. It, I mean, it, it does. It can't follow up to the final no. episode because it's just so so bombastic. I was reading about like the Wikipedia summary, um, and apparently it was like the creators wanted to do. A graduation episode makes sense. And makes sense. Makes sense. That's, that's fair. what it was. My yeah. my favorite bit of the episode though is like Mako's family just picking up the clinic and yeah. putting it in the truck. Fuck. <laughs> you just pick it up and you're like Jesus. Yeah, no. So uh, that final episode is uh, is it's, it, it's cute. It, it's cute. It's you know. Yeah. Uh. It's still. Yeah. It, it it's an extra episode. It's yeah. like it's like you know here's some more cake. Yeah. Oh yeah. I really like cake. Uh. What about okay so. I think okay. What's the best story beat? What's the best story arc, Kitty? I, I said, do really like Nudist Beach. I I feel like because I but I love the Tri City raid though. It's the pretty good. Tri School raid though. Yeah. Especially it's especially good, with too. Ryoko. With, in, like, yeah, and she comes outfit. in and she's like, doo, 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 and then don't lose your way starts. And you're oh yeah, like, how you mentioned the music in this is fucking fantastic. It's amazing, and then they use it to their full potential in the yeah. last episode, in yeah. the actual yeah. last episode. Because in the last episode, like, like the, the, both openings yeah, play both openings and play. the ending of the first ending. Fuck. They don't play the second ending, but still. Fuck. It's just like it gives you the feels because you've been with those those openings and endings already, so you're like, I know that song. That's the an opening. And of course, uh, and then the bl- bl- iconic bl- "Don't lose your way." What about like bl- Blooming Con? Oh yeah, Ragio's theme. Ragio's theme, is so which good is too. People sh- singing in German. Yeah, that that that's a theme that I've actually written to before. It's really it's good. It's so good. Yeah, the soundtrack is f- Say, fantastic. Oh, and welcome back to. Uh, it's been. Five minutes is the last time I I took a big dump on Darling in the Franks. I got my hands on the Darling in the Franks soundtrack. Mm. It's pretty good, mm. but good luck fucking finding things because the titles fucking suck. My favorite track in it is called In In the Franks. Oh. Good luck finding Darling in the Franks in, in the, the Franks, Franks soundtrack. I couldn't find Jesus. it. I couldn't. I wanted to link it on Twitter. Be like, hey, this is the best track of the fucking soundtrack. No way. Oof, the, yeah. How do you find that? Like, do you I, gotta like I'm, quotes I'm, no, no, and then un- quotes. I tried that. Oh god. I tried that. I tried that. I but you're assuming that whoever's posting it online is following those tags. Fair. Uh, but like this soundtrack is so bombastic. Of course, don't lose your way. Don't lose your way. Is so good. It's so good. Don't lose your... fucking it's so. And fucking like good. each character has like a theme song or, yeah. or something like you, you identify with. Like Nona has yeah. a classic music, and then yeah. Senegaya also has like this like Japanese kind yeah. of old style theme. Yeah. It's really good. It's so fucking good. Uh, nudist be- nudist nudist to beach. Yeah, because I like that. Like everything seems dark, but like 
that's my favorite arc, I think, because everything's so dark, but like they still have hope and they're still like, yeah. we got to do this. And then and then everyone's sexualized. So yeah. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. It's like the one bit, especially I fucking love like how for the boys, they'll have a holster right on their crotch. Yeah. And sometimes the gun is, you know, in yeah. the holster. And it yeah. No, no, definite, yeah. It's pretty phallic. Yeah. See, and that's OK. And, and, and of course, I fucking love like whenever people are looking away or something behind the camera, like there's a shine on their butthole. Yeah. Or if like he's <laughs> in the DTR, yeah. there's a shine on the butthole. Because you, you could I, oh, oh, you could see the butthole if there was no shine. I forgot that you you forgot about the the DTRs. I totally forgot about the DTRs. The, their mechs are so stupid. If you want a mental image of what they're of what the new okay news to beach news to beach is a secret organization planning to defeat uh, to dethrone uh, uh, Satsuki. Yeah, Satsuki. There you go. And, and her organization and yep. the corporation that her mother owns, which is the uh, Revox. Yep. That okay. They have these like battle mechs because they're all anti clothing. That's why they're yep. nudist beach. Yeah. Uh, and like the mechs are like like fucking Macross, like, two-legged World of like the War metal walkers, ro robots walkers. with, like, Gatling guns, but the people who are piloting it are inside, like... Like, vertical, like, parallel. No, no, pe pe uh, well, like, laying down mm -hmm. with their bodies, or, like... Like, their they're arms basically poking, trapped in there. Yeah, their legs are poking out, and their heads are, like, the only thing yeah. coming out, so their ass is hanging out. Yeah, their ass and their legs are hanging out, and their and head it's, it's on the other side. fucking hilarious. Yeah, because it's every time you go there, you're like, alrighty. And, and those mechs suck. <laughs> they're not very good. <laughs> they're not very good. But towards the end, they, they combine, and then they help but, out. No, Kitty, the first time they do it, they just get knocked out. They just get, you Raggy know, was like, what the owned. fuck is this? But, you know, it's fine. Uh... But yeah, no, yeah, no the that's a good arc. No, this the beach. But you also get to see like the story without Ryuko or Satsuki for an episode yeah. there, and you're like, what would happen that's, without like that's these true. two main players? Uh, Shit, basically. Do you actually want to touch on that subject of you rewatching? There was something that bothered you and mm. rewatching. Yeah, well, I guess we'll talk about that when we talk about that character. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you want to do now? I mean, do we just want to. I guess uh, I guess we should jump into characters okay. to talk about everything specifically because mm -hmm. like the general story is so crazy you can't really yeah. like follow it beat by beat. <laughs> I do like the like the establishing of life fibers and yeah. what it means for humanity. It's all very well established. It is, and especially in, in even in Rukio's design, yeah. is, uh, is all established like her red streak of hair. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's this is the sort of thing where like when you look at the character design later, you're like, oh, they actually thought about this. Yeah, they, they didn't. They didn't plan this. You know, yeah, they I, didn't plan this that yeah. episode. Yeah, and also how uh, uh, Rukio. Ragyo? No, 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 no. Uh, my God, main character. My range is Ryuko. My, Ryuko, sorry, I was like <laughs> Ryako. No, uh, Ry Ryuko. Like how when she transforms, the under part of her hair is lit, mm -hmm. like Ragyos. Mm -hmm. This is the sort of little character the sign bits. Yeah, where or, or the like, like the shine from Satsuki. It, yeah, she gets it from her mom, yeah, who exactly. like shines like a fucking rainbow. Yeah, it's a sort of little character things where when you're like, oh, someone actually thought about this. Yeah. Unlike you know, Darling you know, Prince. you know, Probably. we don't have to. Yeah. Uh, characters. Do we just start? What, what about Ryuko, Kitty? I don't think this anime could have held up without Ryuko. Nope, she's such a good she's, main character. She drives the plot, and she's you uh, know she's in the dark enough to yeah. like ask questions, but she's not yeah. stupid, so yeah. she like figures out things as well. Yeah. But there's still twists and turns for her to experience. Hey, you know what makes a protagonist really good? Mm -hmm proactiveness yeah you, you know what's really bad for a protagonist hero is when you're just reactive yeah you wait for things to happen and... to you or you wait for a girl from outer space to come and just sit on her lap and tell you that she's your, you're her fucking darling yeah proactiveness makes a character interesting Cause, yeah because it makes you stay on the edge of your seat thinking what they're going to be doing next you have no idea it's so balls to the oh, wall so like it, in the first episode yeah. she tries to attack satsuki yeah like episode one, she's like ready for the kill. Yeah. Oh man, I can't wait to see what what's going to ha what what hero is gonna have happen to him later Oof. through his inactivity and lack of doing anything about himself. Ayo. We're so angry. Well, we don't. Yeah, that's fair. I was I'm like, so we don't angry. even know what's what's going on now. Oh, I mean, we, I, I, it doesn't I, matter. I have an inside man. Uh. He keeps telling me he keeps getting worse. Oh no. <laughs> so. Oh no. Or rather, nothing nothing happens. So. Which is you know still and bad. Then, and then we had the controversy about a character doing something. <laughs> oh my god, how dare! I they. hate it when people do something in my anime. <laughs> it's the worst. Uh, Ryuko is, I, again, as this story would not, especially plot wise. Yeah. Without her, it would it would wouldn't stay afloat. No. And I and I actually like what you brought up that like for that nudist beach episode mm -hmm. not having and then the, the, and the Tri City raid yeah where like not having Ryuko as the protagonist really like brought it, it shows you like what the other characters can yeah. do or what they what they're capable of yeah and and for the last arc where like 
we don't have Ryuko. What the fuck do we do? Yeah, we're like, shit, out of luck. And Ryuko's, you know, not doing well. And Satsuki's not doing yeah. well. So what do we do? Yeah. And everything is falling apart. You know, it's that sort of twist on the whole idea of, like, the, the shonen anime where, like, the main protagonist mm -hmm. is so powerful and good. But, like, you take them away and then... Yeah, you take them away and then the rest of the cast goes, oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, what the no. fuck do we do? <laughs> uh, I love her general design. Yeah. I, I fucking love that case where she kept, like, the scissor for the longest time. Yeah, and then it comes back it comes when back. she's trying to get Senketsu back. Yep, 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 yep. And I like that she... She never... I, like another good character trait, she doesn't say no a yeah, lot. Like yeah. she's like, "All right, Senketsu, let's try this crazy thing." Yeah. And then when Senketsu, you know, says, "Oh, we'll try. Let, can yeah. we try this?" And she's always like, "Yeah, let's fucking do it." Oh, or the times when, when where she's like uh, mentally distressed, yeah, or something's happening, she just goes her own way. She never backtracks. She's like, "No, I'm going home, and I'm gonna lock myself up in this yeah. room." Yeah. Except for that time that she does, but it's blood related, so it's fine. It's fine. And yeah. even then, she ends like like the consequences of her and her acting mm -hmm. lead to Nui basically killing Senketsu. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So like, it's this sort of thing where like like things are at stake, mm -hmm. characters make choices and face the consequences of their choices. That right there's what makes storytelling good. Yeah. Ugh. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, later than the season, we have the reveal the, of uh, the reveal that she's made of life fibers, yeah. that she's Satsuki's baby uh, sister, sister who she thought and, had had died, and, and Regio's daughter. Yep, Regio and her dad's yep. daughter. Yep. I like that we have the reversal of like uh, um, uh, Rukio being uh, the, the antagonist for a little bit. Ryuko? Ryuko. Oh my god! I keep it's okay. missing it up. It's my dyslexia. It's okay. Uh, like, she becomes... In, she wears... Uh, Junketsu. Yeah, you can't, Junketsu. For and, an episode, yeah. And just yeah. like... That episode's balls. That episode is balls. And then it gets gay and it's good. And then it gets real gay. Yeah. Yeah. No, so. in that episode too. Yeah. Remember? She's like, oh, yeah, yeah, kisses yeah, 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 Nui. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For good luck. Yeah. And Nui's like, ooh. Yeah. So in case you're wondering, like, is is Ryuko gay? Yeah, the answer is yes. Yeah. The answer is yes. Like, yeah. I, like I don't think... She, and like, the only... Um, and then, like, rewatching this, we'll talk about this more when we get to this character, but um, seeing her interactions with the homeroom teacher, like, yeah. she always looks at him with discomfort, and yeah. she's like, what the fuck are you doing naked? Yeah. And when he's taking off all his clothes, she gives him that look where she's like, mm-mm, she's gay. Yeah, yep, yep. Uh, you don't look at a man's butthole like that and give him yeah, that look. exactly. And not be gay. And, of course, uh, I guess, can we just do use bleed into Senketsu? Yeah, we gotta talk about Senketsu. Uh, his final line is the best thing. His his uh, final line uh, makes uh, it all yeah. come together. Every honestly. girl must outgrow her. Every girl eventually will outgrow uh, her, her school uniform. Her, her safe coat. Yeah. That. That it it is chills, yeah. tears, just like yeah. it's it's it, it, it and I love that it's the most female empowering thing. It's like yeah. you, you will outgrow it's, your. It's and it's yeah. not and something that like the boys won't know. Yeah, because, the, like, the boys won't know that. Yeah, because it's it, not something that I think the boys in yeah. Japan really experience because yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's you know it's a generic kind yeah. of uniform. Yeah. But in in you know Japanese girls you know really care about their uniforms yeah. and what, what their uniforms look like and stuff. So it's such a good line. And it's of course so for the final episode, fucking good. Senketsu gets the other eye back. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so good. And the reveal of like like we are both we're neither cloth nor human and we're yes. both cloth and human. Yeah. That uh, one is yeah, so yeah, fucking seconds is like you can hear me? Yeah, hey. we, oh when Satsuki can <laughs> yeah, hear him. Yeah, when Satsuki can hear him. Yeah. I love that throughout the entirety of the series no one well, can no hear one him can except hear for, him. for Ryuko. And Mako can kind of like understand what he's <laughs> feeling, but yeah. she's like but they're like, can you hear him? Yeah. She's like, not at all. I, I love how expressive he is without ever being like pervy. Yeah, he's, he's, he's never that. There, there's that one in the first that shot in the first episode where he's like, let me, you know, he jumps yeah. at her. But yeah. that's the only time I ever felt like Ooh, yeah. a little uncomfortable by it. But yeah. other than that, he's like, he becomes a friend. Yeah, it's true. Ryuko's only friend. Ryuko's Sunday um, best. Um, yes, yeah, <laughs> he's uh, her Sunday best. Her only uniform. Uh, and I and I honestly feel like, and we'll talk about this. Uh, if they had focus more on this idea rather than like how sexual and stuff it have become i think this would be a completely empowering story like yeah. it's already pretty empowering yeah, but, but like but, but but the sexual because we can't in good f we can't with a straight face be like this is absolutely this all is about totally empowering feminist. well behind us there is you know like there's crotch like, like, shots like, and no, panty like, like, shots like, like, satsuki's and... kamui is stupid and y they're both like, stupid like, like, like I love the, the I love everything that's not the sexualized part of her. Yeah. I love the stupid the shoulder pads. Shoulders. Like even in Ryuko's design, I love the suspender like things. Yeah. I just wish they weren't just covering her nipples. Yeah. The uh, suspenders uh, uh, are so cool. Yeah. And again, like the whole time I was watching it, I'm like rewatching it, I'm like, if they were just wearing bodysuits, it would this still be would, embarrassing this... enough to be that yeah. like first arc little bit of like you have to embrace yourself and love your clothes, yeah. you know? But it makes it too sexual. Yeah. 
if someone had that kind of art, I would mm-hmm. pay good money to see non-sexualized versions of these outfits. Like, what would it look totally. like? Like, like following like the Senegayama fucking uh, Gamagori yeah. style. Yeah. Because like, like there's a good story here, but it falters. Yeah. And, and the whole time we were watching them, I was thinking of like that guideline that the uh, Sailor Moon creator made mm, yeah. for, for for the animation. It's like here are the fucking rules. Yeah. Don't show panties. Don't shots. show. Don't show their fucking panties. Not mm-hmm. when they're transforming. Not when they're falling. Not yeah. when whenever. And I'm like, like. Ugh. Like we don't need that, and and like and you don't. People will make porn of these characters no matter what. So why true. make it yourself? It's true, unless you're actually uh, making porn. Ah, uh, and the worst part is that like, okay, the nakedness is not bad. No, the whole I, part I where Ryuko is like actually the like nakedness, or or when Ryuko is like just having a cloak because she doesn't yeah. want to wear a senkatsu, it's fine. Yeah, and, 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 and the and whole the, nudist beach, and then at yeah, the end where they have to lose all of their clothes yeah, and everyone's yeah, naked. Yeah, or yeah, or yeah, the end where. Everyone is naked. It makes sense because it also thematically, it's humans shedding away the clothing that gave them their intelligence, but mm-hmm. becoming their own in spite of that. It makes sense. The rest of it, the way the girls are sexualized, doesn't. doesn't no. Especially when the whole theme is given to clothes, then why are they naked if they're giving... Like, Ragios Kamui, mm-hmm. she's fully clothed. Yeah. That one makes sense. Also, wasn't... The thing you think it looks like some sort of like Japanese like folk dress? That's possible. I- a wedding dress, kind of. It's a fucking wedding dress. Yeah. It's a fucking... Uh, that's what I knew. That's what I knew. It's yeah. a fucking wedding dress. So she's covered from head to toe. Mm-hmm. And and then we cut over to the main girls and fucking... And, like, Ragyo is, is, is more sexual than um, yeah, the yeah. other girls. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, like, so that is okay when, like, her main design is just, like, those two straps covering yeah. her boobs. But she's, like, a sexual character. So that's, so that's better. And also okay. she's, like, an uh, older woman. And yeah, she's so not she's a, not a, 17 she's not or 18 a or high school kid. Yeah, exactly. You know? Like, that's fine and yeah. all, but you're yeah. gonna do this to these kids. Yeah, you know... And, like, Mako doesn't really get it. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, Nui doesn't get it at yeah. all. Nu- 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 Nui it- is completely non-sexualized. Yeah, except for the Ragyo moments. Except with Ragyo. Yeah, and, uh, and that's weird. Nui gets none of it. No. Nui gets none of it. Yeah. It's so weird. It's very uh, strange. Okay, we have to uh, but we gotta, push through. Uh, we gotta keep going. Uh, what about Mako and her family? I love Mako so much. I've, like, every every day of my life that goes by that I don't own that other Mako oh, Nendroid. Right. Uh, I, I I think I might put up the, net, the Satsuki Nendroid yeah. display. I know, I want to get the Ryuko one. That's the first one I ever got. I know. I got it on our first anime, remember? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, we should see if I can find Ryuko. Yeah, then, we'll, yeah. then we'll have the full set. Yeah. And But the the there's an extra... Oh, you, you actually own Mako. Yeah, Mako. I own Mako. I don't own the second version, which is like an anime expo exclusive in her three-star uniform. Oh, fuck. And I want it, but it's like $100. Every time we see it at conventions, it gets more and more expensive. I know. I should just bite the bullet and get it because yeah. I love it. And she has all these crying emo- faces yeah. with it. It's so yeah, see, good. It's fine. Just throw all these love life figures in the trash. Now I that Bandori is now that the, the greatest. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I could actually afford it if I sold wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. This is for one viewer out there. Now that Bandori is the number one idol rhythm game. <laughs> that one commenter. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, so I heard you. I, feel, I know it's no, a band no, no, game. No, no, see, see, no, I, no, excuse me. Excuse me. It's, it's with not, an it's, idol group in there. Yeah, I know. I feel so bad. We're not making fun of you. No. It's just, we're being petty. Yeah. I'm being so petty. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, it's funny because we were being fucking... Oh, oh we, we got a comment recently mm. of someone being like, it's a fucking an Uma Musume, and it's someone oh, with, a, yeah. with, a, with an Uma Musume icon, and they were like, says they're gonna talk about trash, but they're watching Uma Musume. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, okay, listen. Listen, kid. <laughs> I love when we got Silent Susuka. Yeah, it's commenting on our Umumusume. Yeah, she, yeah, apparently she banned us. That's nice. See, I love our commenters when they're having fun, or when they're suffering. That's fair. So, yeah, just throw all these love life figures in the trash. And make to up, afford make, that, that Mako yeah. 3 star. Yep. I'd like... Like, uh, every time I think about Kill la Kill again, I want to cosplay it. Yeah. But, like, it's always, like, what would I cosplay? The, that that Goku uniform Mako yeah, would, be, so would be a close, like... Also, did you know that Charles actually cosplayed yes. as, as Ryuko? And yeah. they look so good as Ryuko. Yeah, that was so good. Oh. You, okay, I'm gonna blow them live on stream. Mm-hmm. Apparently, their grandma helped them make the oh. the this the the safe That's so amazing. Cute. I love I know. it. I so know. So good. Fucking love our friends. They're so good. I've also thought about cosplaying cosplaying Satsuki. Yeah, you, you could totally do because I I have hair. the yeah the 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 long kind of yeah, face yeah. and I can I can do a resting bitch yeah. face. I just need yeah. bigger eyebrows. What do you mean you can't? What do you mean? I can do a resting bitch face. Weren't you? Oh, well, wait. <laughs> That's not true. You have, like, <laughs> the sweetest, cutest face of all time. God damn it. That's gay. Uh, yeah. Talking about gay, Mako's Mako. gay. Mako is legitimately lesbian. Yeah. She is a legitimate uh, like, homosexual. <laughs> yeah. She's a, she's a 
legitimate homosexual certified put the stamp on it yeah here's your she batch and your gun loves ryuko so much yeah like it's kind of insane to and, think and there's actually a bunch of like really little or hints early on like isn't yeah. she feeding ryuko in a shot like she's yes. feeding her croquettes yeah that's gay she invites her to live in her house yeah. in her room yeah. she gives her her old pajamas yeah that's gay uh, also like i love how and i'm and hear me out okay mm -hmm. how unstained by men that relationship is because yeah the, the, there's very little because we watched an anime that was yuri mm -hmm. that was so stained by men's perception of how how you how lesbians work yeah that is like well clearly the girl that's into girls has to dress like a boy Cause she obviously just wants to be a boy because femmes can't f like girls no and, and like and it just shows behind how yeah. they're kind of behind the times in yeah. japan it's it's coming around pride's starting and, and, to come and this around anime but... from 2013 is so See, fucking Mako and Ryuko are the queer representation icons we were waiting for. We needed in our like, life. It's r honestly really true. Yeah, it, it's it's. They kiss at the end. Yeah, they kiss at the end. Yeah, I know and, it's a and, quick and shot, but you, go, you see it twice. They go on a date. They go on a date in the credits, but she involves yeah. Satsuki. But whatever. Well, well, they pick up Satsuki along the way. Yeah, well, it seems of... like Satsuki was waiting for them, so that's why oh, I was no, like, I, no, I thought it was totally that they saw her. And she seems like she's waiting for something, okay. though. Well, we, we, we maybe maybe Mako loves, oh, loves oh, Satsuki, too. Also, she always calls her Satsuki Sama. That's true. That's true. Also, Mako's family. Is I love amazing. how much of a player they are. Like, they stick around yeah, on, and, on and the ship. Yeah, and you would think that they would just be, you know, one-off jokes all the yeah. time. And especially early on, they do a lot of the fan service bits <laughs> where they're looking. They, you know, they're like, ooh, can we see Ryuko naked? Yeah. And, the, and then yeah. she kicks their asses. Thankfully, that... That, that it actually, ends pretty quick. That ends it after ends the, the family the episode. After, yeah, 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 it ends right there uh, yeah. before episode. Well, I think it. Nine. I think it. It happens in once in the tournament arc when she's hanging by those suspenders and they all go whoa. Uh, yeah. And then after that, it's gone. Yeah, and that's fantastic. Yeah, but I love her. I, I also want to cosplay her mom. Her mom I'm is not so good. gonna lie. I, I feel it's a crime we never get to see her mom with her hair down. I know. Like that's we got crime. to see Nonon with her hair down in yeah. the in the final episode, yeah. but not um, not her mom. Yeah. The dad is hilarious too. Yeah, the dad. Like, I, I, I love that shot of like you will be present. I mean, Gamagori is like you will you will be present to the fucking <laughs> yeah. cultural and sports event. And then and they then, get all serious. And, and the dad's like, "Will there be food?" And then he's like, "Yes, yes, we'll be there." <laughs> <It's> so good. <laughs> he's doing like the anime, like like yeah, the like serious. Yeah, Jotaro Kujo heart face. It's true. It's like, will there be catering? And he's like, "Of course, like, of course." will be there. Count us in. <laughs> Count us in. And but, then uh, the the little brother also gets yeah, a lot of play, the, too. The little brother gets a lot of play, too. Especially, I, like, during that point where, like, at, right after the yeah. the catered, uh, the, was it the cultural festival, yeah. um, where the two parents are gone, and Gutsu. Yeah, yeah. and, <laughs> and of course, Gutsu. 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 But, <laughs> that's a dog, by the way. We fucking love Gutsu. I fucking love Gutsu. No, my other favorite thing, though, about Mato, though, is, like, you can see his penis, like, yeah, all the time. Yeah, you can see his penis later like, on. all the time that's later the, that's on. That's the thing. It's like Where, they like, don't even give a shit. Like, but that's a very Japanese thing, though. Yeah, because the tiny penis. Because no, it's a no, kid. No, it's no, not no, sexualized. Yes, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you this right now, okay? Mm -hmm. like, like, anime that I watched growing up, mm -hmm. original Dragon Ball shows Goku's penis, like, five times. <laughs> it's because he's a kid. And it also, Doraemon. Not Doraemon's penis, because he's a robot. Yeah. But, like, you see, like, fucking naked boys in fucking it's, Doraemon. They're kids. Like, that's one of the things that, That's that, a very like, Japanese thing. And it's it's one of the things that, unfortunately, gets completely lost in America where yeah. we sexualize everything, yeah. even yeah. on a child. Yeah. It's like, no, it's it's just a... It's, it's just... A, yeah. it's, just it's, it's just an organ. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. It's true. And it's I true. and then you see Guts's penis at one yeah, point yeah, yeah. too. But you that, know what? That one actually fine. makes no sense because that's not. No, it that's looks not, like a human that penis. That looks like a human penis. <laughs> I think they just like put Mataro's penis <laughs> on just, Gutsu. Just, just select dragon click. Drag. <laughs> Dye I feel, color. I love that clip when they're uh, doing like the whole. We have to. You have to be early in school. Whatever. Yeah. And like like they, they're trying to get the Kamui over to uh, Ma, uh, Ryuko. Oh yeah. And, and versus the dad, and, and then, then he then, dies. And then he dies. Mataro when... takes it. Yeah. And then Gutsu tries to do it. So good. I actually, you know, the 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 family brings a lot of uh, comedy to the situation. Also, yeah. their episode is so good. Yeah, the family episode. I, I actually was I wasn't excited because I thought it was gonna feel like filler. But then watching it again, yeah, it it, it, it it's actually it it one it brings the tragedy of the situation, but also mm -hmm. when focused on Mako and the ultimate way in which that ends, yeah, feels so personal and it really draws how much Reef mm -hmm. cares about that family. Exactly, because it's... she she actually hasn't had a family. Yeah, she's N never had never. a family because, because of, like when yeah, she her, was a baby, you yeah. know, she's... and and her dad sent her to uh, like a the like, boarding uh, school, yeah, boarding school to keep so her she's... safe. So, but she didn't know that. Yeah. So like having a family, like 
Especially like during that little arc of that episode, she's like, "Oh, I love the the loud, crazy dinners we yeah. have," and then it goes back to the quiet dinners as they get richer and richer. Yeah. It's like that sad feeling of like this isn't what I wanted, even though it's yeah. what I wanted. And I love that the mystery croquettes come back <laughs> to the plot. Yeah, they're they're important to um to Mako's three star uniform at yeah. the end. It yeah. Gives her energy. To well, keep well, going. well she, she also gives like, like the mom also gives croquettes to like the other to everybody to be like, oh, eat up before our final battle. Freaking mystery croquettes. <laughs> and I, I love that they they that, get new costumes too. Yeah, that's yeah they get their nudist to beach. They get the nudist beach and then they get the 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 like uniform for the the grand cultural festival. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, they yeah, get yeah, that yeah. one too. Yeah. Even Gatsu. Even Gatsu gets a fucking uniform. <laughs> Man. Fucking love that family. That family is so good. We should probably go over to Nudist Beach while we're on the subject. That's fair. Nudist uh, wh- Beach. What about the professor, Kenny? Because because you you, ha- you had a history with this character. Yes. So when this anime first came out, um, or actually it was probably a little bit after this anime came out, uh-huh. um, I watched it and I like the interactions between R- Ryuko and the teacher were did not sit well with me at the time. Because, again, it's one of those, you know, you guys know me, male teacher relationships with younger female students are always... They're they're always a crapshoot. It feels very uncomfortable, no matter if it's like a good relationship or it turns into a bad relationship. Not not, not to spoil any games. Or or shows or anything. But but it, it really, like... Okay, I feel like that's like like uh like the thing that happens like anime moms die for the sake of their son's character development. Yep. And if you're a female character and you have a male teacher, he's, he's gonna, gonna, gonna try and be real creepy to you. Yeah. And and the show actually doesn't really do that because like he's I forget his name. It doesn't Mitsugi Sensei, I think. Uh, Mitsurugi. Mitsurugi Sensei. I think. Um, yeah. Yeah, something like that. But he's he's not like trying to be sexual. He's just a nudist. He's just a nudist. And when he gets his real form going on, like his clothes just fall off because yeah. he's a nudist. He, he, he wasn't it, being like, look at he, my naked body. Yeah, he's, he's like, not like, look just, at my penis. He's yeah. just like, this is my penis. It's here. <laughs> <laughs> because this is I am a nudist. It's just glow. Nudist. Nudist. The beach. The beach. Other than that, he doesn't really have much character. I, I do love like his fucking like his switch. Yeah. From like like. like the, yeah. Yeah, just a te- yeah, home yeah, teacher to nudist beach. Yeah, nudist beach. And then the music b- blasts yeah. in the instant. And of course, uh, he's uh, a so his stylized. Com- his companion, Mohawk Man. Mohawk Man. Who, he, he uh, doesn't uh, get Listen, I'm going to tell you two things, okay? <laughs> First off, this is my one character bit. <laughs> and secondly, I drop it halfway through the season. It's true, it's true. He, he brings it back like yeah. one, in one of the later yeah. episodes, but it's. Yeah. I love fine. how hard Nudist Beach tries for always failing. They always fail. Like, it, pretty like, epically, yeah. except for like the first time. Yeah, I know. Like, it's. it's, it's, it's they fail really hard. And I love yeah. that actually, like, Satsuki uses the information she learns from fighting Nudist Beach to mm-hmm. actually better the battle against Ragio. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's one, of, like, it's one of those things where like nothing feels wasted. No. Like, even the episode with with Mako's family doesn't feel wasted because, no, because you, then you, it you comes learn back about, too. Yeah. So it, good. This anime is so good. It's so it's so like like listen, we watched Ava recently and we will have a podcast on that. It might go up for regular viewers before this video. It'll goes probably up. go up before um yeah. and you and there are some episodes you can tell that were written week to week because they were. Yeah. This, ep- yeah. this show does not feel written week no, to week. It, it feels like it was doesn't. fully plotted out before they even, like, started designing the yeah. characters or something. And, and, and that's why, like, Riku's design actually shines all the way through. Yeah. With, like, the one streak of rain in her hair, which is just fucking life fibers. Yeah. And, like, the underglow in her hair. Mm-hmm. And, like, it, like, it's just... And it's... It, I don't know. It's just the sort of thing where I'm like... this. And even the act- way Senketsu is designed yeah, to mimic exactly. her. her. Yeah, and... Yeah. And like this is the thing where I'm like it actually it feels sound mm-hmm. and you know me okay listen Kitty and I were also watching someone else play through David Cage games and like the whole time we're watching it is torture because we're like that makes no sense and what about that and what about that also sunsets don't work like that David also, Cage also murders don't work like that yeah also he oh, would not be dead I, yeah also I love the fact that our main character has murdered people for the last thirty minutes but just now she feels like vomiting she feels bad about murdering people yeah. And she's like, oh no, I oh, killed no. your dad. Except you've been killing a bunch of men who are probably, who are probably someone's dad. son or dad. Yeah. Like, I, 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 it's so totally deft. Unlike... Kill the Kill, which follows through almost yeah. everything it does. Uh, who's next? Um, I guess we should talk... Is that all of our main supporting well, well, characters? Well, I'm, I'm like... Oh, supporting... I mean... Uh, like, like supporting to Ryuko characters. I th- I mean, I, I think we can just jump into the Elite 4 now. Elite 4. You want to just do Satsuki first? Let's talk about Satsuki first. 
I what a heel turn, literally. What, what a click li heel turn. She gets so much character development, mm -hmm. and, and I love that feeling. Because at first I was like, "Oh, she's good after all." I don't believe it. And then you and see then you, it. You, you see and, it. And, 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 like, and also, like, I I knew the plot twist, mm -hmm. so I was I was watching it build up, mm -hmm. and I love the moment when uh, Ragyo is like, "Yeah, we're gonna do the the culture and sports festival," and, 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 and that... Satsuki's face. Stone. Yeah. A stone. Once and the door closes, she gives yeah. that smile. She's yeah. like, this is it. Yeah. This is the yeah. moment yeah. we've been waiting for. Her whole life. Her she's whole been wanting... Since she was five, she's been building yeah. up to this. She's been building up to fucking murdering her mom mm -hmm. and getting revenge and on putting her, an end to all these... On her dead baby sister and yeah. her, her dead father. One yeah. of them's dead. <laughs> One and, of them's dead. And it's kind of funny, the idea that like both Ryuko and Satsuki were trying to get revenge for their for their dad. For their dad. And they just, you know, Satsuki knew it, but Ryuko did. Yeah. There's well, this... actually, Satsuki didn't know yeah, that they had the same dad. Yeah. yeah. They were so, just so both trying to get revenge for their dad. There's a circular kind of, like, yeah. see, it, it like... In a way of, like, the good part, yeah. everyone knows each other, but yeah. in a good it, way. It rings almost like a song. It's so fucking good. Yeah. Uh, and of course, I love, I love her... I love her first outfit when you see her with just a pantsuit. Yeah, and that's that, good. And fucking, uh, Junketsu, Junketsu looks so good so... on her. Fucking good! Like it, yeah. it looks like a military outfit. It's so wow. Also fantastic. a seifuku and also its own battle armor. Isn't she wearing tights? I think she's, she's wearing big boots, long, yeah, tall yeah, boots. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and of course her uh, uh, bakusan. Yep, bakusan, bakusan is so good. Is her, sword. her sword, like it's chopped in two later. Yeah, and it's like so good. And it comes back like they don't mm -hmm. reforge the sword. They just, they just make two swords. Yeah, because that's so good. Why would you, you know? Yeah, and it actually you can make two blades. Yeah, it also comes back with the whole cutting. Cutting life, uh, life, life threats from, from, from both ends, from both ends to keep them from regenerating. All uh, scissors. See, it, it's almost as though someone actually thought about this. And planned the whole thing in advance. My Fuck. God. This, in case you're wondering, it was my experience watching this for the first time, not finishing it, mm -hmm. that made the transition to a darling in the Franks so harsh. Because I'm like, I've seen Triggered, and they can do so well, so and good. they can do so much better. I, I, we might actually have to look up and see. Like, like I bet that guy's not there anymore. I bet mm. the guy who did fucking it, well, or, or isn't on, working at, at least on them. Yeah, or didn't work on Darling in the Franks because yeah, because it's it's so devoid of, of the life. immediate character that was present in. in it's fucking devoid Kilika. of life. It really is because like he like, okay listen like Ryuko if you just look at a picture of her you automatically know that she has character mostly because of the way her eyes and the like, way she's her expression drawn, is yeah her expression. And, and her stance mm -hmm. Hero is nothing. He's He's like a He's fucking so cardboard piece of nothing. damn cardboard. Do you think Japan got a lot of that stupid flack the U.S. gets all the time when the mental main character is female and not male? Whereas, like, oh, why is the main character a girl? Do you think they got that a lot back then? I wonder. But or do you think it was balanced out because it was she was sexualized? Maybe, maybe because uh, Darling, or Darling, Frank, excuse me, Kill a Kill was a worldwide phenomenon at the time. Yeah. It, it was crazy. Like the Tumblr discourse yeah. was yeah. insane, and everybody loved it. It was yeah. except for the people who didn't. Yeah. But you know, uh, I don't know. So. Uh, in regards to Satsuki, I fucking love her character the, uh, arc. Her, I love her design is great yeah. too. Oh, it's, I love her thick ass eyebrows. Yeah, like her, like she's like this beautiful lady, but she's also got these big ass yeah. eyebrows. But they don't deter from yeah. her beauty. They're yeah. also like. Her, there's so much yeah. character. I, it's a thing that, like, and I brought this before, that's that, like, mm -hmm. these female designs, Ryuko and Tatsuki, are so not inherently male gaze. Yeah. Because, like, like Ryuko looks like she'll fucking punch you in the dick. And like, so, and Satsuki will step well, on your well, dick. Well, oh, well, and Satsuki has these, like, Im not immediately attractive features, mm -hmm. but she has this, like, me like, okay, listen, I'm, I'm gonna quote Honey Pop, because mm. we fucking love it. It's like, Satsuki is what you, what you know as a mega bitch. It's true. And she's got the mega resting bitch face. Mm -hmm. And like, nobody fucking messes with that. No. Nobody Your dick is dead. With Your dick is dead. Yeah. You can't, like, ain't nothing getting up. No. Nope. She's fucking, boom. St you know, you know her stomp? Mm -hmm. Damn. Just that. Damn. Gone. Yep. Forever. Goodbye. Disintegrated. It's true. Disintegrated into life fibers. Yep, 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 yep. It's fucking, <laughs> man, I fucking love Satsuki. Satsuki's design is and, really fun. And her around the Elite Four and the, the, the Elite Four's and, adoration and her and, for her. And, and Sodoi. Yeah. The yeah. butler. And the, the butler, I never noticed that the butler never gets eyes. But that's yeah, fine. he never he never gets and, pupils. Oh, the, Satsuki fine. has this really sweet moment with the butler when, when, yeah. when she's like, like you know, I've been drinking your tea for so long. And, and I like, used to think it was so bitter. So, so bitter. And, and now it's the most delicious thing in the world. And then the butler made it this like, you thought it was bitter? But you smiled and said you loved it. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
so it's such it's, a cute moment. And the tea comes back. Yeah, I love that he's like, yeah. you know, makes tea for everybody yeah, and now. I, I love that uh, the lead four before they go on the big operation to attempt to kill Ragio, mm-hmm. they do the Japanese thing of drinking sake and then breaking the cup. Mm-hmm. But then, I don't know if it's in the bonus episode or mm-hmm. in the ending. No, it's in the last episode. Okay, yeah, they, they the drink tea and the then they're like, don't break the cup. And Sasuke's like, don't you dare break yeah, these be, cups. No, no, no. But she's like, because we're going to drink tea again. Well, yeah, we're victorious. So you're going to need these cups again. Yeah, that's so good. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> so good. Fuck. Let's talk about the Elite Four. Gamma fucking Gori. I love Gamma Gori. Is he the best one? I really I, like I him. I think it's, uh, for me, it's Gamma Gori, no, no, it's Nagayama, Hacker Man. Yeah, we can't even remember Hacker Guy's name, well, so I, it's fine. I like Hacker Man. I like his three-star uniform, because he's just typing on himself. Yeah. That's fine. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. And also, I love... I, I love his, like, nudist beach one, too, yeah. where he's got his, 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 still got his yeah. face covered, but it's like, everything else is exposed. Yeah. And also, like, like I actually like mm-hmm. uh, that he forfeits his duel against... Yeah. Uh, he's like, uh, I just wanted Rico. the research. Yeah. I like that. And that never but, happens. But then he still takes off his three-star uniform because he yeah. lost. Yeah. So he still takes it off. Fucking, fucking hacker man. Just... <laughs> I love it. Like there's he does it on the on back, back too. Yeah. So he's like twisting around. He yeah. looks so stupid. See, that's the point where like, like, like Gamagori looks uh, amazing and powerful. Sanigayama looks powerful in his uh, uniform. Uh, as, no, as, no, as, no, as no, 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 is like imposing. And fucking hacker man is just like fucking like touching his butt typing. <laughs> so good. <laughs> got too many keyboards it's gotta touch them all <laughs> it's so fucking good yeah uh but yeah no uh gamagori as mm-hmm. i mentioned before like he like he, he cares for every student and i i feel that in this sort of the presentation of the totalitarian state that is the school mm-hmm. needed someone like him yeah but, but not because he's like the most powerful good but because he actually believes in everything satsuki says yeah he and, is her living shield yeah and I love that that comes back. Like, yeah. that's the thing of, like, themes and elements ringing through all the way through the end. He jumps in front of the bullet so many times. Mm-hmm. Not only for Satsuki, but for other people as but well. But even for Mako and, 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 and Ruko. And near the end. Yeah. And, like... And, and even in the car uh, yeah. one, he, he kind of, like, goes in for Ruko because she's yeah. like, I'm going to fight them. And he's like, no, this is my fight. Yeah. And also, like, in the original flashback, where, yeah. you know, he's going into the fence, some, like, the some, poor rat kid. Yeah, exactly. He's yeah. like, no, I have to defend him because I'm yeah. a disciplinary c- committee chair. Like, it's just... Like, these kids... Ki- ah! There's so much goodness behind, like, Gamagori and his design. And his, like, it's a constantly changing yeah. size. Yeah. Because <laughs> in the flashback, it's, like, his one finger is shaking Sasuke's yeah. hand. Yeah, whole hand. Oh, my God. It's so <laughs> and it good. just changes so much. And it's the kind of thing that, like, in a bad show, that'd be stupid. Yeah. In a good show, it's hilarious. Because you're like, exactly. how big is he? You yeah. don't know. Like, I, I saw Plague on watching it just from that first clip of Gamagori's animation. Because Plague loves animation. Yeah. And, like, Gamagori is fantastic in just his... He's just, whole body cha- size yeah. changing thing, yeah. and it's like, it's not like it, okay. We never acknowledge it. No one ever talks about no. it, and that's why it's funny. Exactly. No one ever goes, "Just how big is that guy?" Yeah, uh, he's just like so, huge. It's so it's so good. Uh, what about uh, non non fucking non non? Uh, I love fuck. I love okay. I love the flashback of her and baby Satsuki, yes. and and it's like I built your castle, and then she's like, "This castle." I is built stupid. you a ca- I built a yeah, castle yeah, already. It's yeah, made of steel. Yeah, yeah it's not but, gonna collapse. And, and then Nana's like, "But that will break it down someday." And then Satsuki said, "Baby Satsuki in Kernel Garden little baby says the coolest line in the whole fucking anime <laughs> is like, if that's the case, then what you must do is build a castle in your mind.'" <laughs> so and I'm like, "That's the best." <laughs> so good. Thank you, it's baby so Satsuki. Stupid. It's so stupid. But like at that point, she was already like... In your mind. She was ready to kill her mom, so yeah, it makes true. perfect sense. <clears throat> it's so good. And they're gay, yeah, by the way. And, and I love uh, Nanon's design, uh, especially once her fi- she finally gets her three-star uniform. Mm-hmm. And she's just wearing like a bodysuit with like bones on it. Yeah, the, she's like the bone conductor. And, yeah, and, and her ship fires like flutes. Yeah, and, and like, of course, or like recorders. Yeah, and she plays classical music. Yeah. So you're yes. like, we don't have to make music. We'll just, we'll just use fucking like a it, Valkyrie. But, it, uh, but it's still... Valkyries. But it still like really works for her. Too, yeah, no. Because it's this dramatic, crazy music. It's so good. It, like all of the, her character traits follow through. Yeah. One of my favorite like little things about her is that like since she was childhood friends with Satsuki, Ragyo like knows her. Oh, uh, yeah, It's like, true. oh, so how are your parents doing? <laughs> no, no, no. Or, oh, you've grown so much, no, no. It's mm. like those little things where you're like, yeah, they've known each other for a yeah. long ass time. Of course she'd know Ragyo. Yeah. And I love her her voice. Yeah. I, I love her voice is also such anti, like, like boy, waifu. waifu material thing. Because she, Cause she sounds like a little shit. She sounds like a little shit. It's kind of like my voice for Sionji. Yeah, it's, it's true. It's yeah, true. A little shit. And it's... 
it it gives her so much color. And again, it's the such anti waifu bait kind of thing. Yeah. Where like she's not she's not she she's wasn't not... made pretty for you. Yeah. And I love that. It's true. What about Sanegayama? He gets a good arc. He gets a really yeah. good arc. I really love the the transition of like first meeting him yeah. to joining Satsuki to try mm. to prove himself to Satsuki and losing his eyes yeah. and then opening like his mind yeah <laughs> and i th- and, and poor guy he like he gets a lot of actual like screen time trying to fight but then like you know when he finally gets his battle with Yuko Nui just comes in and yeah. is like you're gone bye it's true <laughs> poor guy is just like i just want to fight yeah. Ryuko. and it was weird in the final episode when he takes off the the blindfold i'm like oh yeah he has eyes that's weird <laughs> you're like what what happened i was so used to him having like ninja, a ninja turtle fucking like headband uh, yeah headband yeah it's true he's he's fun yeah no no i I like the Elite Four. I actually didn't like them originally, but hmm. watching this all the way through, I really like them. They're and all fun, crazy, just like supporting Satsuki in every yeah, way. I love how supporting they are of Satsuki. Like they adore her. Yeah. And it and, and it makes me like it makes me more interested for Satsuki because they believe in her so much. Yeah. And they want to protect her so much. It really makes it feel like that they, they don't only agree with what she wants to do, but they're also, like, really big friends. Yeah, exactly. And that makes the, the OBA episode a little bit sadder because they're mm. going to go their own they're ways. All, they're all going their own you know? way. And that, hap- that happens to everyone. Yeah, that That's happens. high school. That's high school. That's how high school goes, yeah. unfortunately. But... Uh, what about if fucking... Uh, I just really quickly, I love Yori. Yeah, Yori's so good. Yeah. Yori's so good, and, and I and I love the, I love to like, get a three star uniform. Too. I know it's so good, and and you always see him with the mask because yeah. like he can't breathe in the life vibrance. Yeah. and it all makes sense in the in the universe. Yeah. But yeah, Yori's really good. I yeah. wish he got a little bit more, but yeah. like at least he gets a uniform. Which the is one dope. thing, the one thing is that they just kind of like sweep it under the rug <laughs> that he's related to the butler. It's because their names sound alike. It's yeah, fine. It's, Irori and Sodoi. Yeah. <laughs> That, that might have been planned. Probably I not. I don't think that was planned. I think but, they were like, oh shit, we named these guys kind of like, close. Why don't we just do that? Fuck it, let's just do <laughs> Whatever. it. Whatever. Uh, who do we have left? We got the villains. We got the, is, there, is there no more supporting cast? Am I crazy? I mean... There's I, all I, the, the no, club members. Uh, I, I, love, I love a psycho guy. Oh, oh uh, yeah, the, the fucking, regional... Yeah, the fucking... The, the, the Tarada? The, the, the leader of the Tarada yeah, clan. Yeah, I forget, but yeah, he's yeah. he's I, fucking crazy. He's fucking crazy, and I love the whole theme of like you know like fucking Satsuki is all about r- ruling the world with fear, and, and he's, he's all about ruling the world with money. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and even though that's the one male character who's like, I'll step up to Satsuki, he one gets fucking destroyed. Yeah. And secondly, like it's it's immediately about the way in which they both um the their way the way they view the yeah, world. Yeah, the way in which they want to rule the world. Yeah. As opposed to like, no, no, I'm better than you because I'm a man. Yeah, and you're you know? a woman. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And it it was, and of course the whole Osaka thing, and you know, yeah. fucking his fucking uh dotonbori crab <laughs> battle. Oh thing. yeah, yeah, it's so good. It's it's so fucking good. That whole thing with Makoto too, or Makoto, where she's yeah, like running she's around, running around yeah. eating food. <laughs> so uh, well, they literally... and she's like, shoot me, shoot me, <laughs> goddammit. No, they're literally shooting money bills at us, boss. <laughs> shoot me. <laughs> Fucking. It's, it's so boss to the wall. Yeah. They load bill, like dollar like, bills. Like chunks of money yeah. into their guns. They just and fucking fire them. With money. And then Mako like catches them all and is like, I'm going to go fucking so good. Food. Yeah, it's just like, fucking shoot me. Shoot fucking me. Shoot me. Shoot me. Um, uh, so the antagonist. Let's talk about the other character I would actually love to cosplay, Nui. Nui. She's fucking crazy. It, it drives me insane that she gets no sexualization. That's yeah, it's kind of balls. Yeah. Because like uh, so, you know she's so, she's oh. Ragyo's kind of other daughter. Uh, also, the translation. I don't know if it's a translation of the anime, but they keep flip flopping on what her title is. She's uh, the Grand Cure Courtier. Cour- 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 Courtier. Which, by the way, in a, in a in a house or a feudal system, that is the the member of the house who's in charge of, of uh, relationships with other groups and giving gifts. Mm. Um, but but I prefer I prefer her name of Grant Taylor. Yeah. Way better. Yeah. Because that's actually what she does. It's true. In the Japanese, they call her like like Courtier because they actually say it in uh, in Romanji. Yeah. Uh, so it's like a French word. So. Yeah. So like I don't know. Uh, they flip flop. They flip flop well, that a lot in the translation. I think they mostly stuck to Grand T- Cotier uh, the, the, towards the, the end. Yeah. There's a chunk in the middle where they just keep calling the Grand it, Taylor. It, it flips around. And I, it's I, very I, strange. I actually prefer that title. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, she is fucking she's, crazy. She's like you imagine this crazy world ruled by clothing and this this crazy like Satsuki trying to 
like take over. What would you imagine would beat her? This tiny, cute little crazy fucking lady. Yeah, girl wearing Lolita clothes, wearing basically. All pink, looking all cute and shit. Yeah, is and a then, murderous yeah, bitch. Yeah, and she has this smiling face, and I love that. Like, usually the way this character archetype goes is that she's mm-hmm. got like this really cute, happy voice, and when she says mean things, she's like, "Fucking bitch, I'm gonna stab you in the face." But then she says cute. So she's she says, she says horrible things in the cute voice. Yeah, exactly. She's which, like, oh, yeah, you little yeah, bitch. You're not going to be yeah, able to touch fu- me. Yeah, fucking, fucking Satsuki says something. She's like, oh, wow. The, talk about having a fucking goddamn sense of humor. Yeah. Just, but still in, the, in with the cute face and the cute voice. Yeah. And I love her design. I love how she's the immediate jump in power level. Yeah. yeah she, she's like, she, in Bang Dream, she's going from like normal difficulty songs to, to, to hard expert. difficulty songs. <laughs> it, it, it's the 18 difficulty kitty. Yeah. That's the wall right there. It's true. You think you can do it and then a bunch of notes come your way <laughs> and, and then Sinekayama just co- flies over the screen. She comes in with her scissor blade and just like fucking yeah. is killing people. It's so, it's so fucking good. Uh, yeah. Every time that she's the subject of violence, it's fucking like, weird and satisfying. It's like, hilarious too yeah, because well, like yeah. she... The yeah, way that they true. animate her is yeah. they just like flip her like yeah. she's 2D, so yeah. she dodges everything. Uh, uh, and I, I love that like when her, when uh, Ryoko's dad Ryoko's dad uh, mm-hmm. cuts her eye out, yeah. she's just like blood is streaming it's, everywhere. It's go- I love the way she's they like, do blood in this anime yeah, too. Yeah. It's so cartoony. It's it, it it's al- cartoony, but like it, it almost feels like a caricature. Yeah. Uh, and of course, when she loses her arms, yeah, it's, it's and, just and, fucking so animated. Yeah, and like. Up until the point where you see those things, she's never breaking the smile. She's yeah. always like, "Hi, you're so funny," and she's always like winning. But then when you see like that kind of shit actually happen, that's when you're like, "Oh fuck!" Yeah, she actually bre- she breaks character, or she yeah. ca- she breaks kayfabe and just fucking goes all out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love those moments because you're like, mm-hmm. "Oh yeah, oh yeah, she's crazy." Yeah. yeah, and I love that like the way they deal with her in near near the climax is just cutting her arms off. Yeah, yeah. But she still manages to sew her unif- the uniform yeah. Rag, yeah, with her teeth. Because she's the best fucking tailor. That's yeah. What, it's so fucking good. <laughs> and I love that Rag- Ragyo actually gives her arms back. Like sews her kind of arms. Yeah. And then... That but, turn into blades, yeah, too. Yeah, but she's all like, you know, these arms are nothing compared to what you used to have. And then mm-hmm. she's like... It doesn't, and, It'll do. Uh, you know, and uh, um, New is like, like, it doesn't matter because once this is done, we won't need clothes anymore. Yeah. Because the ultimate goal of the life fibers is much like it's Lavos, really. To spread more life fibers. Yeah, to absorb the energy from the planet and then mm-hmm. just shoot out in all directions across time and space to... Uh, to make more fa- life fibers. I, I love Ragyo being all like, even if you beat me, there'll be more life fibers coming this way. Yeah. And like, mm-hmm. that's that's a very like ultimate cosmic stage kind of like, you mm-hmm. know, reality. It, it was literally a cosmic stage at the end. So yeah. let's talk about Ragyo. Uh... I, I think her first that, appearance and her like that that song that comes in yeah. the rainbow is I, balls. I, I think that you nailed it on the head where like her main design of her wearing like the very thin dress that's just like strapped going down her breasts basically mm-hmm. it when it makes sense because that's a very like I don't want to say professional or like but, very but, but, fashion but, but, like, designer clothes kind yeah. of thing and, and that's what she if is. you ever seen the design if you've ever seen like a, this like a fucking fashion show mm-hmm. they, they all have that it's yeah, like boobs are hanging out like yeah. that's, 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 that's the thing that happens it's true so. For her to mm-hmm. dress herself in that way, makes it makes sense. sense. It's like the way Bayonetta dresses herself. It makes sense for her. Yeah. She chose to wear those clothes. Or at least it, it's aligned with the design and the way she would dress herself. Yeah. Uh, the problem with <laughs> Ragyo... Is a little sexual harassy there. I, I don't to know. her daughters. And like, I'm, I was trying to watch the scene with her giving Satsuki a massage. And I'm like, can I watch this? In a way that it doesn't feel like she's literally touching her daughter's vagina. No. And the answer is no. No. There's no, no way. And, 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 and it even yeah. is like shot or like in is like sounds in the way that she's like yeah. having an orgasm. Yeah. Like it's and, 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 creepy. And, and I'm just sitting there like you didn't need this. And it, I don't. You I don't, didn't need to do this. I don't know if they wanted to do that because like oh she's she's like sexual that that way you know she's evil or something. But. Because sex is bad. That's what that's what that's what. <laughs> oof oof. That's what religion taught me. Oof. Sex is bad. It's fair. Uh, but hey I, I don't know if that's what they meant by I, I, it. No. You know what it feels like. It feels like we are a bunch of men and we haven't had a chance to objectively sexualize these girls. Please, let's... Please. The animators are dying. And then she, like, spanks Satsuki for yeah. a while there, and that's like, yeah. wh- wh- why? Ragio is a good antagonist it's who like, is unfortunately... Yeah. Uh, ha- ha- hamstring? No. Um, What's the thing? Hampered? No, it's a fucking... She, who's ultimately mm-hmm. vaulted by the way she's presented, yeah. those scenes... 
have uh, or also like there's a near the end where like she's naked with like Ryuko and Nui oh, yeah, when and they're, they're all putting touching on... each other's boobs and it, shit cuz well that's the mental image of putting on Junketsu is like pleasure yeah, but it's but still, like, like, uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. And and when like, she touches her own boobs, that's fine. Oh, no, see, Ragga touching her own boobs, that's fine. That's, that's, that's weird not that's to be crazy. Fine. fine. She's crazy. Yeah. But, but like, subjecting those other two uh, girls. Other... And Nui, who has had no sexualization up until this this very moment. Yeah. It feels so, it feels so, like, well, the bo- how do we know the boys' penis aren't hard, rock hard right now? Yep, it's true. Uh, that it, make it hard. It's a thing where I'm, like, we're, and we're... Ragu's the last one. Yeah. So we can literally bleed from this over to... We can to, go uh, into the Tumblr the, discourse. The Tumblr TM. discourse. But first off, just really quickly, uh, mm-hmm. I love the way things end with Ragu. It goes yeah. to the cosmic stage. Yeah, literally. In orbit. In orbit, above the Earth. And I and it, at first I thought it would was kind of anticlimactic, the way that um, the final battle ends. Yeah. But it feels so evil villain Ragu yeah. crazy. She's like... Yeah. I, you know, I am also life fiber and I will not let you, like, like, Rico's yeah. like, come on, come back to Earth. Well, you know, I don't know what she was planning to yeah. do, but it's fine. But Ragyo is not about that life and yeah. crushes her own heart. Yeah. Just kills herself there in the cosmos. Yup. Because, <clears throat> fuck it. She's not going back to that world if the life fibers, you know, aren't there and her conglomerate is ruined. Absolute defeat. Yeah. There's no point. Yeah. So she yeah. just... And, like, and, and honestly, no. I think it makes sense because like she was n- basically indestructible. Yeah. And and ironically, the way to defeat her bias was by defeating her goal. Yeah. And without anything else left to do, she's not gonna go back to that world without no. life fibers. No. So. Not after the reverence that she showed for them, the kind of like the fact that her whole family and generations were building up to the moment in which the life fibers could t- claim the world. Exactly. She made it her life goal, and with that obliterated, she herself there's, was destroyed. There's no wor- There's no need. Yeah. To Kitty. What was the Tumblr discourse back in the day? It was, is Kill a Kill feminist inspiration or is it just sexual, like, uh, duh, what's the word I'm looking for? Trash. Like, duh, the fuck is the genre for it? Etchy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is it just yeah. etchy? Um, upon rewatching this, the answer is, uh, I feel because like there's, th- th- there, there's like that... That bar is not 50-50. No. I will gladly... You could... Because I feel like you could just... Okay, okay here's how we go, okay? Here's okay. here's how we do this, who this okay? Mm-hmm. All the ragio scenes of her touching yeah. boobs and, vag- and vagus all cut out. Mm-hmm. Okay, here's the Dango Duos cut of the anime, okay? <laughs> it's true. And we do f- some 4 kits style editing. Mm, some, you, some nice no, little see, censoring. You, you, you grab the, the paint bucket tool, mm-hmm. and then you just dip it o- o- over all the girl, like the girl's yeah. like skin. Make so, it so, white, so, so, so it's th- not like skin. Or, or for Rico's, just make it black or red, and for such a can make it white. White and, or blue, And then yeah. the problem is fucking solved. Yeah. Um, also, I think this is one of those things that there is no objective answer, obviously. No. But it's also one of those things is, like, what you take away from the show. Um, for for me, watching it back then, I did not feel, like, empowered by the show. Yeah. Now I'm like, yeah, no, I understand... Hello. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. My Don't mind me just out. attacking Kitty. It's fine. Mid sentence. Um, but for me now, it's like seeing these girls go through this this coming of age story, essentially, and you know, being empowered by their clothing and and wanting to dress in in ways in other ways other than their clothing. It's like that is empowering in its own right. The problem is the sexualization, the forced sexualization of it all. They don't choose to dress. They that didn't way. choose to be sexual. They just had to learn to accept it. And for, for I and like my idea of how to make this better, other than just putting them in bodysuits, is like what you could do is give Ryuko something that she's uncomfortable with that's not sexual. For example, like a frilly pink dress. That's fair. Like she's obviously this rough and tumble kind of kid who's like you know. Not about like yeah, looking no, necessarily wh- girly ho- or ho- holy crap, you're act- you're weird. yeah, holy crap, that actually makes sense. What if she just turned into a magical girl? Yeah, even though she w- she probably even would she hate was that. Not she's not about that she's life. Not, she's not about that style. That's just, exactly that. That's actually, it. That yeah yeah that's not sexualized. Yeah, no, that's not sexualized. It has yeah. to, you know you never you know? show her panties. I've I've fixed kill a kill for you, trigger. Yeah, like, like honestly, like 
and and I feel like that's those are literally the, like the two little points that and Ragio shit because Ragio shit is literally yeah, nothing. And you can just cut that yeah, out. You, at you least. can just cut that out and trust me, you would miss nothing. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. Even that scene where she's talking to Satsuki, you can just I don't know put that voiceover somewhere else, or even yeah. better, I don't know, fucking. I don't think it was that crazy anyway. No, no. You know, like it, uh, you lose, you lose more mm-hmm. by having it in and than having just taking those it out. In. And you can make this story about clothing not sexual. That yeah. was my other like Absolutely. juggling at the time of watching this the first time. Is like, can you write this story without those sexual like designs? And yes, they just took the lazier route yeah see that this is why like your editor is like yelling at your force like why are the girls naked is there a reason for them to be naked because if there's literally no other reason and you can't justify one in the story Mm -hmm. then then there's no point then then there's no point that's bad writing yeah that that, that's going the lazy way and i do what i do also realize that them presenting the girls in which they did probably got them way more fucking attention. attention. Yeah, no, that's, certainly. That's stupid, though. And, a- especially, and, that's, and that doesn't make for good storytelling. No, and it does mostly end after that, like, you know, seven-episode chunk, basically. The first seven episodes is, yeah. like, Rico's not as much embarrassed by it anymore. Yeah. So we can actually focus on the best parts of the story, yeah. which is probably why those first episodes feel really slow, is because we have to deal with that. Yeah. But you don't have to do it like that. Because, yeah. like... Overall, this is a story about the relationship of people and their clothing. And, you know, in the end, everybody's, you know, naked without clothing. Yeah. At the end of the, and, and, of and the at, story. And at the end of, of, of the show, they literally all end up naked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and everyone. It's, it's And it's not like a sexual thing. It's these are human beings. These are human bodies, what they look like without clothing. Yeah. And this story is about humans and clothing and the coming of age of these girls. And yeah. you didn't need to have it sexual yeah is, is the thing where like you can like, embrace like that you can have that idea of like her coming to terms with like her own like costume design without it being sexual yeah you're absolutely correct also mm-hmm. i forgot our cat was in the fucking room <laughs> i forgot yanto was behind he's us he's passed the fuck out he's passed the f- oh, he's so cute he's so cute uh so i I absolutely 100% agree with you. I was also thinking of, like, what would mm-hmm. it be like? Like, fucking Senketsu keeps taking on different styles that Ryuko hates. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like I've unlocked the, the 60s fashion style. Oh, like the, no, the, the disco ti- pants. Or the tie-dye. Yeah, the fucking And fucking Ryuko's like, I fucking hate this shit so much. Yeah. Something like that would have made it that, work. Yeah. But I do understand that they're, the very bold design of Senketsu and um, Jinketsu, like, those colors work, so it'd be kind of hard to do, like, a, a frilly magical girl. But you could do yeah. it in black and red. Yeah. It just wouldn't be as, like, embarrassing for Ryuko as, like, something yeah. like pink. Yeah. But, but yeah, it's, it's, uh... Are you saying that the lesson at the end of the day is for women to get accustomed and, grow, and used to the reality that men will sexualize them no without their what. consent? <laughs> yeah. I'm no, fuck that. That's stupid. No. That, it's Dango not, don't Duo, accept it. Dango but... Duo will remain here, a mm-hmm. stalwart shield, a bangard against that stupidity, and remind you that that needs not be the yeah. reality. That's true. Let's talk about the... Well, we actually did kind of talk about the crazy climax already. Uh, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's so it, fucking... It goes it, to it, cosmic it, levels. and then... Everyone gets their moment, mm-hmm. and that's what anime is the strongest at. Yeah, l- and l- my l- favorite thing is... Is that <clears throat> that last shot when Ryuko comes crashing down to yeah. earth and yes! everyone is holding her? Yeah, and, and, and like, like everyone like, helps Satsuki. catch her. And then the elite and then four. Mako, and then and, and Mako, four. The and, then, four. and then Mako's family, and then like all of the students come yeah. in and catch her, and then there's just this pile of naked bodies who are just like who love See, Ryuko. This is the shit that anime nails every fucking time. That, that, that anime Western stuff elevates, can't do. And, and I feel like like like. Okay, superhero movies have been trying to achieve this level of everybody gets their moment on the spotlight. Mm-hmm. And it's only and, 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 sometimes and, and, working. And now. I don't know, because all I've heard of Infinity War is that like, a bunch of people, you know, you know. Kick the bucket? You know, yeah, basically, you know. Fill the bucket. And it's like, that, that's, that isn't inherently satisfying, I, don't, no. I would say. No. So the idea of, like, these characters who you have followed. And you've you know, fallen you've in love with. And, like, everyone gets the moment in the spotlight, whether it's yeah. Hacker Man or Sanigayama against or, Ragyo. Or, or, or just the, yeah. the little club members from, like, yeah. the first few episodes. Absolutely. You're like, that's the boxing guy. It's the tennis girl. Or fucking Gamagori coming back to life, revealing yeah. that he had a titanium plate <laughs> under his clothes, just, just like he did before. Like, back in the day. And he fucking gets a face on his chest. Yeah. Gurren Lagann style. It's very Gurren And fucking dis- destroys, destroys the transmitter. The transmitter. 
Yeah. It's it's so um, it's like good. that's how you do a finale and especially yeah. including like three iconic four iconic songs because i'm sure they yeah. play don't lose your way yeah, i've yeah, forgotten absolutely, already absolutely. but like uh, including those four iconic songs yeah. that you've had throughout the series especially the two openings you're like mm, uh, this shit down also i'll just say this right now the thing that makes that climax so effective mm -hmm. and especially the previous episode as well mm -hmm. is just how much the ma the protagonists have to do yeah. to defeat the, fi the the evil plan? Yeah, the, the, they they defeat the li the life original five life life fiber like twice. Yeah, and like they they try to stop Ragio launching the fucking message to space like twice as well. Yeah, the, they do so much and they never get the easy way out. It's exactly. always uphill both ways in the snow, wearing flip flops, carrying all of your books in your back, and your small sibling or whatever. Yeah, it's it. It's always hard for the protagonist, and that's mm -hmm. when storytelling is at its best. It's true. They, the only thing that I don't like about the finale, and this is the smallest nitpick in the entire world, is that for a split second there, uh, they just do, like, drawn pictures. What, 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 seg what segment? The, where, um, Ragyo and, and, Sa oh, and, um, oh, uh, 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 Ryuko. That felt very guy next to me. It it's, it's, it's like the explosion it's... and the light and they're only being like, like, yeah, pen strokes. And it, but, but it also, having it also watched looks, Evangelion it, recently, it looks reminded me of the last two episodes of That's Ava. True. That's so I was true. like, oh. congratulations. 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 But it only lasts like three seconds. It lasts like five seconds, actually, I lied. C c can we make a fucking, uh, Controversial statement. Mm -hmm. Is this better than Evangelion? I think the answer Consistently, is yes. Consistently, yes. I think uh, uh, Evangelion uh, brings a lot of like fun ideas yeah, that you want to but explore, does but absolutely it doesn't nothing answer the questions. And, and the worst part is when you look up information, and you realize they were writing that week to week, and you yeah. go, "Yeah, then none of this." Because because Evangelion makes sense as long as you as long like or Evangelion. You give it the benefit of the doubt until you realize that the creator was writing it week to week. Was very and, and, depressed and, and, and yeah, was and, not and having a good time. He wasn't handing out the script, like w w giving the animators enough time to do anything. Yeah. And I'm like, then then you know that all the things don't rig through, and it's all, it's all and, bullshit. and it doesn't all mean. Anything and I'm not in the saying end. Evangelion is bullshit. We enjoyed our time with it, but like once you see. The uh, or, or, or once you see the trick behind the little, little uh, slip of the wrist, mm -hmm, the, whatever the, trick, the behind you know, the curtain. Once you see that there is no bunny inside the hat, yeah, a and the dubs were actually in his sleeve all along. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, it's like, oh yeah, that's. Uh, oh that's... yeah, oh, I see. And w we both basically rewatched Kill the Kill for this. Yeah. And honestly, that was fucking fantastic. It's a, and a I th great. I th anime. And I think once again, Kitty mm -hmm. nails it on the head. It was consistent it was it was consistent it was in it was consistent in its craziness in its style in its tone its focus of central female characters mm -hmm. the way it treats its characters e even because like you know the the ones that get the sexualized scenes are usually only satsuki and yeah. ryuko and even when ragyo comes in and does those creepy sexual scenes it's all consistent within its own like it, it, it's all focused on on satsuki on those and three and, 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 and yeah and and yeah and ryuko and ragyo ryuko. So it, it's honestly a wild ride, but it's not a bad one. Yeah, no, I... I uh, the OVAs, take it or leave it, but... The, the OVA is just one more episode. Yeah. And, and I think within the context of, like... If you can find it, uh, watch yeah. it. It's not on Crunchyroll, yeah. so... Yeah, so uh, there you go. Yeah. Hey there, everybody. Uh, Woo! This was a fun podcast. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm really happy we watched Kill a Kill. Yeah. I would like to watch Gurren Logan. Yeah. Oh fuck yeah! Which one? Yeah. One I, I mean, like, I, I kind of want to have like a project that was just playing, playing some fucking some games. Har some games. Yeah. Uh, but we'll see. I want to watch Gurren Lagann. Yeah. Uh, or Gurren Lagann. Or Garen Garen Lagann. Listen. Garen Lagann. That song is okay. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, you you hit? Are you telling me you hate Sonraria Days now? No, no. You love uh, it. It's a good song. It's fucking good. But I want I want Pop and Party to cover the second Kill a Kill <laughs> opening. Oh, that's fair. Oh, that's fair. Or the first one, or that's both. That's fair. But that's fair. But Jesus Christ! Uh, welcome please. back to fucking ba Bang Dream. Girls who the party. Yep. Uh, top ten reasons why Bang Dream is better than Love Life. You could actually ten, objectively make that. Top list. ten reasons why you should uninstall Love Life. Okay, listen. I've spent. I've sunk too much money into my account. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that? Re okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You can't just abandon it. You sell it. You sell it on eBay. eBay. It's actually now against the rules of service, the terms of service. Oh, no. They updated that. Oh, no. 
mm-hmm. sucks for you who's selling your... Okay, I'm kidding. It's we're fair. not We're not recording us talking about committing space crimes. Space Committing crimes. love life crimes. Hey there, everybody. We're Dango Dio. Before you go! Yeah. Don't go. Don't, don't go. go. Don't go, especially your patrons. This video is here thanks to our patrons. And don't go! I'm not doing the outro yet. No. Next month. The, Next month we, we yeah. need a break. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we, need something we do a monthly video every time, and and the theme next month we're going back to. Max has never seen a Studio Ghibli movie. And there should be a poll right now, right at this very instant. Whoa, whoa, and if you're now. not a patron, you can pledge one dollar and get to vote. Just one dollar. Yeah. That's all you need. That's all you need. Uh, it, it helps us. It's more money than we will get from YouTube because YouTube turned off monetization because because of because stupid we don't numbers. Have a thousand subscribers. Yeah, oh, even no. though we're crushing that um, view count. Yeah, because you guys minutes. actually watch our stuff. Uh, so especially these long ass podcasts. Yeah, uh, I, I hope you're having fun at work or or drawing on the commute. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, so I'm gonna Kitty. Kitty's gonna force me. Yep. But at your request... Oh, no, I'm going to force you to watch a good movie. Yeah, to watch a, a Ghibli movie. And the options are... Nausicaa, The Valley of the Wind. Uh, Hayao Miyazaki's first Studio Ghibli movie, not his first movie, because Lupin, Castle of Cagliostro, technically is his first movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, um, what was the, the middle one? Uh, uh, I know we have uh, Porco Rosso, mm-hmm. a tale of a pig. Yes. In World War Two. In World War Two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then uh, what the fuck was the last one? It's not. Oh, what was it? Tales of Earth. Oh, it's Howl's Moving Castle. Oh yeah, ha- yeah, Howl's Moving Castle. The based on the the no- the novel of the same name, a mysterious castle that moves, and the girl who finds the wizard who lives inside. Yep. yep. We call. Yep. Is that a Castle in the Sky or is that another movie? Which? Laputa. Is that? That's Castle in the Sky. Yeah. Laputa. But I thought there. Were- I thought they were the same movie. I thought it was Castle, Castle in the Sky, House, House movie, and Castle in the Sky. Yeah. Oh, ooh, that is a little confusing. That's fair. No, yeah, yeah right. Like, like, yeah. There are two castles. One is floating. One moves on the ground. Oh, how how it's, oh, it, it walks. walks. It walks. It's a it's, it's a walking it's, it's, castle. It's got legs. It's got legs. It's got four little leggies. A castle to surpass Metal Gear. So you can vote on which ones. I want to do more like classic ones as opposed yeah. to like my favorites. Yeah. So. So yeah. Uh, Parker Rose is not super classic, but I honestly think it should be, especially yeah. in the times that we live in right now. Yeah, hey-o. absolutely. Hey hey oh hey oh. Uh, also, if you want us to just watch Tales of Earthsea instead, which Tales is the from best. Earth Sea. The uh, Tales. Or is it t- Tales? T- Tales in Earthsea. In Earthsea. We greet you in Earthsea. Uh, that one's not. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, I heard that's the worst one. Yeah, that's that's my least favorite. One. Yeah, we should watch that. I'm kidding. The three options are on screen. Oh, I mean, it's a podcast, actually. So the options, once again, Kitty, are... Uh, Nausicaa, Valley of the Wind, Porco Rosso, and Howl's Moving Castle. Yeah. Uh, there should be a link to the poll to the poll in the description down below. Mm-hmm. You can pledge just $1. Dude, it's just $1. It's the it's, like, it's less than a peck of gum. It's true. Uh, it's freaking less than, you know, would you pay our vending machine? And you, and you, and you mm-hmm. get to watch it early. Yeah. That's for everyone. Mm-hmm. And you get to give us a, a buck. Yeah, that's true. That's pretty cool, I think. Yeah. That's pretty nice, pretty neat, pretty fun. And now, uh, just general outro stuff. So we have Twitter mm-hmm. accounts. They're on the screen right now. Uh, we don't have this as a podcast yet. We're watching it on YouTube, but it's fine. It's, it's fine. Also, Amazon Wishlist. Uh, there should be a link to the description down below to our Amazon Wishlist. Our cat's being cute. It's being if you want, cute. If there's a game, I will add a the, movie. I, if I haven't already, the few Ghibli movies I don't have on there will be yeah. in there. So... Uh, w- if you, buy us from, if you buy something from the Amazon Wishlist, we'll we make a video watch on it. it. We will. Yeah, we did that recently for... Uh, recently-ish. Well, recently Depending ish. on when this goes up. Yeah, because the, the pictures get to watch this early. So, recently. Uh, you fucking... Uh, it was... Uh, uh, yeah, we watched that. Mm-hmm. Uh, talked about it for 30 minutes, and then derailed so hard that we ended up uh, in, in, at a different anime in, in, in a different country. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, we did. It's a joke. <laughs> yes, we did. It's a joke. <laughs> we talked about it. And now, Patreon! Let's give a big shout-out. To, to our lovely patrons, our lo- lovely patrons who make these videos possible. Yeah, it's Amelia, Angela, Annie X Hoshi, Erisos, Lier, Luna, and Victoria. Thank you for your support. Whoop 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 whoop. Anto's so cute. Whoop, whoop. Except he's like groomed a little bit of his fur, so it's sticking up. Kitty, kitty. Hi. What what club leader would you be? What club would you leader would you be in fucking school, the school of Gilliko? What would be your I club? I mean, honestly, I think it'd be a no-star student. 
Oh, that's no. You have to be like, like if if I was to make the kill a kill RPG, you have mm. to pick your fucking two one star uniform. Badminton. Ugh, get the fuck out of here. I really. I regret like, this question. I really like badminton. Do you? I really do. It's. Like, I've never seen you play badminton. It's like tennis, but better. Because it's the tennis balls are so heavy and the t rackets are so hard, but badminton's so light that even my frail ass can do that. I'm gonna feel free to draw kitty. As There's a badminton anime coming up, and it's the only sports anime I've ever been interested in watching, mm. except for the all female ones. Uh, feel feel free to imagine me as the fucking riding club mm. president, or Fair. or just for the, the Monster Hunter Club <laughs> president, <laughs> or you know now that I'm on but Gun Gundam the Gunpla Club president. That's fair. That's fucking fair. yeah, arts and crafts. Fucking arts and crafts. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That that would be fun. Yep. Yeah. That would be fun. I'm like, what else do I do? What? The cosplay? Yeah, yeah, you could be club. the yeah, you could do the cosplay club. That's fair. That's what you like that girl from Dingle Rompers. Uh, yeah. yeah. You see? No, I really like the Monster Hunter Club. Monster Hunter Club. Fucking just show I just <laughs> turn into into the Wrathless armor. <laughs> Fucking let's go. That'd be pretty good. That's fair. All right, everybody, we're getting out of here. It's been like an hour and forty minutes. Uh, yeah, we need to go. This anime was good. Yeah, the sexualization sucks, and uh, fucking Raigus stop touching your kids. Jesus Christ, that's, that's really it's, disgusting. It's please. it's really unsettling. It's quite it's quite bad. Yeah. Okay, bye. Fucking non non. It's the fucking best. Aggressive grooming from Yanto. Oh. <gasps> Aggressive yawning from Yado. Oh, pfft. you have to wrap. Oh up. shit! I have to tr turn off the recording.